What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Keep It A Buck podcast. It's me, your boy, O. I got my great co-host with me, and we got a special guest with us, us today, uh, NBA Rudy himself. Mm. Rudy, but you're going you're gonna to have to go last. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to go last. Let's <laughs> oh, say yeah. hello of course. <laughs> to the esteemed panel. Damo, how you doing today? What up, everybody? It's your mom here. Midnight Snack, and we back. And Omar, I'm doing good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Be be souls. Bitches solace. Come on now. Oh my. <laughs> What's good, y'all? What's good? Welcome back to another episode. Episode 28. Something like that, man. Well, we back. We back, man. Run the subs up. Okay. Oh, say, we just got you, a sub. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We just got a letter. I wonder. <laughs> Sage. <laughs> Sage, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Um I might have a problem. I'm addicted to Casa. Man, Casa me go go stupid. Well, <laughs> man, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Other than that, yeah, okay. Um, Rudy, how are you today? Man, I'm I'm feeling good. You know, I woke up. That's good enough, right? I, I do that every day. There's more to life than waking up. I think, but I, okay. yeah, I guess technically keep the keep the bar low. You'll always exceed it, right? That's right, that's what right. they say. Yeah. Um. Listen, we got a sub. We got a sub goal. Be so. What's the sub goal? Five, five right now, and it's already been reached. Shout out to Talo, Ta, Taloko Badger for the last sub. Cool bro just gifted 150 bits. We just Jesus really? Kelly. the J the J Kelly just gifted yeah, five Kelly subs. Up. We're, hey, going We're going crazy. We're going crazy. For the people who don't know, these subs go directly right now to Rudy. So, Rudy, say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's rare that I get the opportunity to thank the consumer directly. You know, but you guys Rudy is support the man me behind the scenes. For those he is crowdfunded. Like <laughs> now, now, listen, I know we have a sub goal out there on, on a more serious note. We don't. We never yeah, want to just meet the sub goal. We want to we wanna go through it. We want to smash through it. And the only way that we can do that is with two things. Word of mouth. Mm. And two, go get your mother's debit or credit card. Okay. And sub up right now. Facts. She yeah. won't be mad. It's just five dollars. She just won't be mad dollars. because yeah. you politely asked. It's for a good cause. It's five. for a good cause, man. Spell, spell consent. All right. Anyway, moving on. Um, hey, briefly, briefly, we had two hundred, bro. No cap. We had two hundred. Two hundred. We had two hundred. This motherfucker, man. Two hundred. We're just the regulars. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We don't even have. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the black of oh, Kanye. What you about? No, we got Rudy. That's my fault. Yeah, we got Rudy. That's, that's Rudy. Good, good, good point. Good my point. Audience. Now, listen. I think what they came to hear is slander. So we're gonna start with some pretty good slander. We actually have some pretty good topics on this. Um, NBA Finals Game Five was yesterday. I, I do want to get to the praise of Giannis. However, last night, if you weren't there for the uh, Watch party. The watch party was a sub only watch party. If you were there for the watch party, B Souls brought up a great point about moving down on all time list. Now, Chris Paul's legacy is on the line for a lot of people. It just is, right? Can you move down on an all time list, especially with the performance that he's putting up right now? Uh, he's past his prime. I think if you were going to do that, to a certain degree, I suppose, but that's kind of sh- it's not strict, strict because obviously we would we expect that from guys like LeBron, even. But he's so clearly past his prime, like he can't even go to the the fucking basket like that for real. That how much are we talking? Like, are we about to just be like, yeah, that's why he wasn't better than a prime Steve Nash or something? Like, I, I don't. I think like, I think it's we- more so a general question because my scenario in my head would be like, let's say you had LeBron's career, right? Right now, mm-hmm. we consider him, you know, unanimously at least top three all time. Ninety five percent of people consider that. But then let's just say the next three years, he goes to the finals and just chokes it up. Talking about like 11 points a game, 25 percent from the field type of performances in the finals. Now, will those performances kind of just like a rat? Like, can you move down the rankings when you've already accomplished so much leading up to year 20 that got you in the, you know, GOAT conversation? Can you move down? That's really the question. That's that's very interesting. 
my personal thing, if a player is clearly not in their prime, it's already some consideration. But if we're talking about making the finals, and I'm not trying to take you specific because it's more general, mm. but if you're a player that showed that you still got it, essentially go into the playoffs and then you sell. So you set the precedent that you're still good or you still have it to a certain level and you still sell. Then yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could fall. Like if LeBron James, who people still would say, just to be on the safe side of things, because I know some people don't even fuck with LeBron like that for real. It's like top five, right? And going into the next season, he plays like a top five player. But then in the playoffs, Anthony Davis is clearly the best person on the court and the Lakers get out in the first round again. Yeah, I'm going to look at LeBron like, yo, stop, bro. So I, 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 I agree. I agree. They can. They can. But it has to be in that situation where you've set the tone that you haven't regressed. You can't regress in the playoffs and then just get away scot-free. That would be my take. Damo, how do you um, how do you feel about that? <clears throat> well, in Chris Paul's uh, situation, I'm going to say no, even if he does have a, a bad quote-unquote finals. I'm not going to say he moves down in my list just because of the simple fact. One, it's his first finals. Two, like C said, he's past his prime. And honestly, for our era of players, Chris, like Chris Paul was seen as one of the guys, like, let's be honest, a lot of people assumed he would never get a ring. Like, he was kind of, at least for the most part, the consensus was Chris is going to fall under the John Stockton, the Charles Barkley's. Like, he's going to be a ringless great. And we were okay with that. Like, going to the Suns, he achieved something amazing. No one's seen his team get into the finals. He did that. That alone is enough to be like, all right, even if you do flop, no one had you here. It's not like it's not like with a Bron. Like with a Bron, whenever Bron plays, even though he's not past his, even though he's past his prime, obviously, we still have the championship or bust expectation for LeBron. So it's a conversation if Bron goes and chokes in the finals, even in year 18, 19, 20. It's, as long as you're high level, it's still a championship of butts. If we never had the expectation going into the season of, yo, Chris Paul, championship of, bu- championship of budget, like he went to the Suns. Niggas was like, yo, I thought you were trying to win. How are you trying to win? You going to the Suns. Right. It's your last <laughs> couple years. How are you trying to win going there? Now he's in the finals. There's no way I'm saying he's moving down my list. He's a top three point guard all time, in my opinion. Well, Damo, I thought you. Yeah, I thought you were saying four. He's four no matter what. Win, lose, or draw. He's four. He's, no, yeah, he's four no matter what. That's what I was thinking. With back. or without you? What I mean? Jokic. No, I'm just kidding. All time. I mean, you know, Jokic. Top ten point guard. Jokic. Not there. Not there. Not there. I mean, we we not doing that. I, but, I forgot his name, but somebody just subbed. Up. Yeah, shout out yeah, to Brazilian too for the sub. Damn. And your yeah, boy, your boy Corey with the sub. That's what I like to see right there. Going up. Um, yeah. I'm on a new level. Rudy, Rudy, how do you feel about moving down? Because I want to throw a wrench in there. In my opinion, age matters in this conversation. So, Rudy, how do you feel about the possibilities of moving down on an all-time list? I mean, yeah, like context is key, right? And that's like where age matters, right? Is the, the context of the narrative arc of their career, if you will. Uh intuitively my gut instinct is to say like no you can't like fail so hard on the biggest stage that you just fall any significant amount in like the ranks like if you as an individual had this rankings in your mind where like you had let's just say lebron one and uh, michael two but lebron just fudges it for the next five years and michael over eclipses him in your mind then like you're probably already willing to argue like Michael over LeBron, at least a little bit. Like you, there's no way you 100% believed that LeBron was better than Michael if he is capable of failing from this point on to his career to be worse. Because Michael just sort of got to dodge this stint of his career where he got like the post-championship Dirk years where it's like definitely past his prime and I guess important to his team, but not really changing very much, you know? Like Michael Jordan never got to actually wind down to that point where he's on the Wizards averaging 20 a game uh, at the age of 40 something, you know, like we just saw him after his uh, second comeback and was like, oh, okay, this is what 40 year old Michael Jordan looks like. We never saw him wither away to that point. So I think that helps his case because we never got to see him fail. It was just all build up to success. It happened, retired, came back, success, retired, and then bought the Wizards, said we sucked, and then had a novelty little run with them. 
realize that you know he could still whoop ass. Real, That's real a, quick, shout out to your boy Corey for the ten that, that gifted. That motherfucker, son. We had to, we had to get to the next level. That yeah. shit yo, was yo, wild. See, see him, he got your run for your money, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That was wild. The bro <laughs> subbed, and the first thing he did was gift ten subs. That's that crazy. Seen, that that crazy. He said the crown's yours for now. Like, <laughs> said, I'm not <laughs> battling this. Lady. I'm not battling <laughs> that motherfucker. No different. What Rudy brought up was an interesting idea in my mind. Um, one, age does matter, but I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. But two, I'm gonna always make this a LeBron thing. LeBron is the only person I know that still has championship expectations at year 36 or at, at 36 years old, going into 37 and at year 18. And that's crazy to some that still might move him down for that. Um, switching over because I feel like age does matter. We also had this conversation last Giannis ranking all time. Where I think it does come into play, and this is a serious conversation, Giannis is probably in the top 20 if they win this finals right here, which it looks like they're about to do. This is where you could move down in my eyes. We might be overrating him right now. And later on in his career, like if next year, you know, the league gets better and and he shits the better or whatever, then we can have a conversation about moving him back a little bit. And of course, if new players start to show that they're better than him, then, you know, of course he moves down, but that's by somebody else moving up. But Mm -hmm. Giannis is doing something historical right now. And to be quite frank, I feel like it's getting swept under the rug. Um, How do we feel about the Bucks performance? Because they've they've truly outdone themselves in this finals. Everything that we said was an issue in the season. Obviously all that's gone right now. So how do we Mm -hmm. feel about the Bucks? How do we feel about Giannis's legacy? And how do we feel about the hate that he's getting right now? I feel like a lot of the hate comes from the fact that a lot of people wanted to hate on him earlier than these finals. Like, even going into the first round, I know motherfuckers wanted the heat to, you know, prove everyone wrong and clamp up the Bucks again to prove that Budenholzer ain't shit, Giannis ain't shit, when, when there's a defense that can, you know, put up that wall. And then the second round happened. James Harden goes down. They go down 0-2. And y'all, y'all were here. We were we we were on Giannis's ass in the second round. And then they came back and won that in seven games. Um, and then in the Eastern Conference Finals, same thing. You know what I'm saying? On on the other side of the bracket, you didn't even have to face the Sixers and you're down to the Hawks. And then they still ended up winning that series. So now it's a matter of I think I think people just want to hate on Giannis because it gets it gets attention. I ain't gonna lie. Like even even on NBA YouTube, on Twitter, when Giannis is getting slandered, it's just you know. Corey you know I'm you know, sorry, Corey, Corey, Corey just it. gifted another yeah. ten. Yeah. What yeah, the bro. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we said I saw goal at five. I love it. <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man. Five. This is already a W stream, top five stream already. Top and I know five cap. Already. What the fuck? <laughs> I might I might get some of that cast at this point. God damn. <laughs> Damo, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about the Bucks and everything? Legacy, hate, all that from, um, from Giannis. I feel like honestly, Giannis' legacy is just beginning. This is just the start. Like it's Giannis has been like he's been on this trajectory since his real either the year before his MVP year or the first MVP year he had. He's always been on this like trajectory to be one of the best of his generation of his era. That was obvious with his talent, his dominance, and how he's playing, the numbers he's putting up. All that. The hate is expected. It there were people that hated on Braun. There are people that hated on Curry. There you're gonna get hated if you have a certain play style that just makes niggas scoff and look at you. Like James Harden said, it ain't that hard to dunk. Like when you got players in the NBA full of offense, full of doing doing full of like full of different like offensive moves and all this type of shit, and you got a guy that's going out there playing like a skinny shack, like, oh nigga, I'ma just dunk, I'ma step by you. That's it. Like I'ma make it simple. Like y'all doing one legged pull up threes, double step backs, all this shit. I'ma just do my game. And people love it. Like what you're doing is probably 12 times harder, but people love this guy right here. I, the hate is expected. And can, I, can I? And I don't. I don't. I, mean, I don't mean to interrupt you for that specific one because I forgot that he said that. Do you think? You think Harden there was like a level of jealousy in that in that comment? 
I mean, yeah, he was coming. He was rebuttaling the when Giannis was like, he picked who did he pick in the All Star game? He picked somebody in the All Star game and was like, yeah, because he's gonna pass. I think he said Kemba. I'm gonna pick Kemba. It's, Kemba it's either that or he said, um, whatever team doesn't have James Harden, something like that. It was like a no, no, no. He picked somebody and was no, no, because no, him and LeBron were picking. He picked somebody. I want to say it was Kemba. He was like, I'll go with Kemba because Kemba passes the ball. That's oh, yeah, what he said. Yeah, it was, it was something James along those lines. Yeah. It was the direct yeah, shot James at James Harden. Harden. That's how I remember. Yeah, and then Harden rebuttal with. I mean, he said whatever he said, and then he ended it basically with, you know, I mean, it is not skillful to dunk. Like, he was like being, being seven feet and dunk, it ain't hard or some like, shit like that. 11, I'd do it too. Type. Yeah, like if I was seven feet tall, I'd dunk all the time too. Like, it was je- it was a sense of jealousy, but it was definitely a response to a shot. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to say it was all jealousy. But, I mean, there are plenty of play. I think CJ's probably jealous. <laughs> after, okay. after his... After his tweet, I think CJ kind of let the cow in the back. He's probably jealous. There's probably countless players in the NBA, countless stars in the NBA who are jealous of Giannis. They're just not going to tweet about it. Um, oh, this is from the legend of winning. Giannis is the only player in NBA history to average 30 points, 10 boards, 5 assists, 60% from the field in the NBA finals. Uh, Rudy, what are, your, what are your thoughts on Giannis? in the finals and legacy and all that stuff, the hate stuff too. I mean, I think the most interesting thing about it is sort of seeing the discourse surrounding like the post AAU culture in the NBA, right? Where it's like half the dudes in the leagues are friends because they grew up playing against each other. And then you have Giannis coming in from Greece, right? Not participating in the culture. He doesn't have that network of of friendships among his comrades as, you know, people with him. And then everyone's just talking shit like, well, what about Chris Middleton? You know, and it's like, well, I mean, I, I think you just, you know, are probably more likely to be friends with Chris Middleton because you might have encountered him a couple times before the NBA or whatever. You know, like that just seems to be uh, part of the conversation right now. At least the part that I'm the most interested in because, like, it's vaguely political. You know, like xenophobia within the NBA is like a pretty interesting topic i've right? I've heard that term um bounce around on twitter can you explain what xenophobia like the definition of it it's it's like a nationalist impulse to where you're just like oh people from elsewhere are gross it's like uh it's not racism but it's like the same type of bigotry except di- direct directed towards like people of different nationalities mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's part of the reason why they they villainize luca they villainize Jokic. Or not, you know, they don't they don't embrace Jokic, they don't embrace right. It's you know, why Max German Kellerman English, is like, right? man, talking about Jokic doesn't get views, it's because like, well, y'all don't hype up Jokic because you know, he didn't have this giant network of people hyping him up, you know, for his whole high school career or whatever, you know. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, who doesn't who doesn't support Jokic? No, I mean, it's like people the mass Jokic. media in general. Yeah, people like, going especially in comparison to other stars league. like Dane. Again, this in terms of not supporting, there's people out there that are saying he's the worst MVP of all. Yeah, time. that's what I was finna say. Yeah. <laughs> that's a new level of stupid. And then he got um like nothing supports that. And then you have people who are quick to praise Dame. And I guess this is where I just want to speak on it real briefly. Quick to praise a guy like Dame shooting fit. It can't miss, but only seven <laughs> shots, dropping 50, left and right in a loss. You got John Morant going crazy against the Jazz and the Warriors. He getting all this praise. Everybody want to get on Twitter and stuff. You got Steph Curry even in a loss. You got LeBron making one shot in a play and everybody going crazy. Everybody going crazy. Everybody tweeting he's different, yada, yada, yada. And then you got people who are silent when Giannis drops 40 in back-to-back finals. But when D-Book... D-book he drops 40 one time in the finals, and it's all over the fucking place, too. Debo drops 40 in the series prior. He drops series in the he drops 40 in the series against the Lakers. You hear that left and right. And I just want to no, I want to y'all. Sage, get into it, because I want you to specifically speak to the Giannis hatred that's oh, going on on, on Twitter. Hate? No, 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 I mean, I, I know you got something to say. Go ahead, say let, me get, let me get real specific with y'all in case y'all think Omar, Rudy, B-Souls, Dom, and myself are jazzing it. Spencer Dinwiddie tweeted. <laughs> Spencer Dinwiddie tweeted this at 12.23 a.m. on July 18th, 2021. That means the game just ended. Not even an hour later. This was this is what came to this nigga's mind. <laughs> just thought of an interesting what if. Maybe Marvel inspired. Maybe Marvel inspired. <laughs> mm. Giannis is out for game six due to health and safety protocols. Close contact with his brother. The Bucks still win. <laughs> 
Does K mid get finals MVP? No, 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 no. Now, before y'all just sit there and really say, what the fuck? Spent? No, really grasp what this nigga said. I don't know if you can say it. Rudy, you might have to believe my mind. I don't know. I think you can say it now. This nigga essentially said, what if Giannis caught COVID? What, what, what? Is Chris Middleton MVP if Giannis caught COVID? I, I, how does that compute in your brain, bro? Like, how, how does that even, how does that even happen? Like, why do you see Giannis catching an and one lock? You just saw it. It's 12 23. You just saw it. Just saw Giannis make the plays down the stretch, be an unguardable for 48 minutes, doing whatever the fuck you wanted the whole damn game. Drew Holiday was wild, and D-Book was wild, and Giannis was literally doing whatever he wanted, however. And your thought process was down. Giannis caught COVID. I mean, I guess the middle since finals was MVP. What is? Yeah, I got like CJ <laughs> McCollum, who obviously is at a lesser extent, but he's over here talking about some. So is Middleton getting any votes? Or am I tripping? Yeah, why is everyone on Middleton's day? Yes, bro? What's, what's going Chris on? Middleton should it's because... not get finals votes if you ask 10 people who has been the best player in the series for the Bucks. They all say Giannis. There shouldn't be that one nitwit, built ass, sorry ass, dumbass that come on this motherfucking time. Well, it's strange. It's strange when they did it too, because like CJ did it right. I mean, literally right, right after the game. After too. the game. Right after the game at 11 24 p.m. And mind you, if if we know everything that we know, hell, if Giannis does sit down for the next game and the Bucks do win, Giannis is still like the finals MVP. He's still I don't. The that's so MVP. weird. That's so weird. You want to know what I think it is? Because who do y'all know? Like some other guys that might have tweeted. Because I know Dinwiddie. I know CJ. Any other guys that tweet out? I want to say shit? I thought De'Aaron Fox did too, but I I can look. I check. Those are the main two. Somebody right check for me, just because I I don't want to. I don't want to be misspoke. I don't want to be completely I wrong when I say this. De'Aaron Fox on Twitter, and it just brought up like De'Aaron Fox season and like De'Aaron Fox, yeah, like I see all that shit. Yeah, so swipe it. What I'm cool. thinking it is with the Chris Middleton thing because I under. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't agree, but I do understand why players are doing this because again, I don't know if y'all were in these rooms or in locker room and green room, but the disrespect to Chris Middleton was so loud. And so crazy. And it was so, the Bucks can't win with Middleton. Middleton can't be the second guy for Giannis. All this downing on Middleton, then when he proves people wrong on a constant basis, yes, he might, he'll have games where he's shallow and shoots and shoots like shit and isn't good. So does everybody else in the fucking playoffs. And no one's had a perfect playoffs. But for a guy like that to step up and you have guys who are typically role players and upper twos on their team, when they're watching this, they're like, shit, when it gets to the nitty gritty, this nigga Middleton is closing the games. This man Middleton is stepping up crazy. He deserves credit. It's a lot of people who are in Middleton's shoes, not on that stage, but they're seeing it through that light of, well, shit, if I'm playing with Dame, but the end of games, I have to be the one to close the game, I want my praise. If I'm a role, Spencer Dinwiddie, if I'm a six-man role player and I'm playing with this superstar, this MVP, this, that, and the third, and if I'm closing the games and I'm doing this, I should get praise. That's at least how it's looking. That's at least how it's coming off. So, so CJ follows that tweet. Somebody, um, somebody quote tweeted him and said, y'all NBA players really hate on Giannis a lot. This is definitely a Skip Bayless type tweet. CJ replies that Giannis is the finals MVP, but Mitty been killing and closing. No hate. I like Giannis in the same draft and he's worked on his game and body deserves everything he's received and more to that comment. I say, and I, I read this earlier and I put it in the group chat. Um, Giannis Antetokounmpo is uh, leading all players in fourth quarter scoring in this finals. So I just don't, I don't. With crazy defensive plays, the the play offensive player tonight in game five. Exactly. And I'll go this far. Giannis has either been, and I'm going to keep it short. Giannis has either been great or all time level this entire finals. Like, I hope people understand game one is the only game you could debate that, and he came off of blowing his knee out. <laughs> and he put up 20 and 17 on good efficiency. I, outside of that, he's been either great or at an all-time like, <laughs> I love how Sage said aside from game one where he put up 20 points and 17. Right? Exactly. 20, <laughs> just a measly old 20 and 17. Outside of that, he's been literally great or all-time. And when it's said and done, whether people want to accept it or not, 
statistically and let alone looking at it, it's going to be one of the best finals performances of all time. Like, in my opinion, it's probably already going to be top 15. Like, it's it's wild. But go ahead. I don't want to cut you off already. No, I, I we, we oh, are listening. Okay. Well, and in that case, um, so, <laughs> I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Dom was like um, the Middleton thing. I'm not disagreeing with that. But for those people, because I, I was there, so I'm not disagreeing with that. Dom's not lying. But for those people, I got to say bullshit because respectfully, it's not, he can't make it about Middleton praise now. Do you understand what we telling Giannis to check up and ball with? Like, do we, like we're talking about the NBA Finals second options. Just to give you a briefing of what some second options in the NBA are looking at like right now. Uh, James Harden and Kyrie Irving. Uh, ben Simmons, granted, he's getting made fun of right now. So Ben Simmons slash Tobias Harris. Bam on the bio. Jalen Brown. Nikola Vucevic. DPOY Gobert. Chris Paul. Paul George. Porzingis, LOL. Um, CJ McCollum, Anthony Davis, Clay Thompson, Brandon Ingram, all players you could argue and one step ho- lower, one step higher than Middleton for the most part. And there's some players who are just exponentially better than fucking Middleton. And you're and you and on top of that, we've been talking about fire coach Bud all fucking season, right? So we talking about fire coach Bud. We talking about Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday being this help. He's he stayed loyal too. So he 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 got the carry job factor going for you. He got the loyal job going on for you. He got the bad front office and shit, but I'm gonna do that because I'm that great shit going for you. He's a good person, like just straight up a nice human being. He got all the boxes checked off for you. And we out here talking about some Chris Middleton for FMVP, or we out here ta- just ignoring what this nigga's doing. And this is coming from a dude who <laughs> y'all may have seen the episodes if you've been OGs. I got on Giannis' ass for not being clutch, getting stopped by a man with a clipboard. I said that in 4K. And I, I've said in the past, if he can get that done, he'd be a way better player. So it's not about a sage is wrong type of thing. He stepped it up. He's evolved his game. Giannis is a straight up better player than he was then than how he is right now. And right now it's time to accept the fact that you slandered him. He proved you wrong. Shut your mouth. Like me, I'm, I'm not shutting my mouth. I'm like, damn, y'all gonna shoot that nigga. So by all means, go ahead. But some niggas is just like, shoot a three. What, what is that? Or, or, or if you're not like shoot a three, you're not saying anything. And that's weird. I, I, that, that's just so weird. It's, it's yeah. That's the NBA. Look, it's so better though. Um, Brad Crumb, Brad Crumb Trail. Gave Brad a sub. Crump, the sub. Um, he also gave 100 bits. And, bit. and, and um, he wanted to ask a question. How does this current Giannis compare to Prime Shaq? Uh, I mean, uh, he does he? look, look, I'm going to just say it. I'm going to just say just set the tone, Brad Crumb. If you knew, my boy, <laughs> I'm the toxic one. I don't care. It's not the point. It's not the point. It's not the point of situation. Um, He's not Prime Shaq now. He's only one of chip. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't care. And that's something, honestly, somewhat what I'm talking <clears> about. Like, Giannis being great right now, we're about to try to compare him to a prime Shaquille O'Neal. It's not because he's not a dominant fair. player. That's a, he is a dominant, is dominant player. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not being a. Dick. I'm not being a dick. Now I know what he's trying to get. Everybody compares Giannis and Shaq like D mentioned D bug and all that. Shit. Everybody has that one player that forever compared to. I, I understand that, but it's like right now. I'm trying to say how great Giannis is. I ain't really trying to talk to him compared to a prime. Yeah, Shaq. I don't. I don't want to. Right. Do Obvious, obviously, obviously, yeah. Shaq has the resume. All that shit Giannis just simply doesn't have. So I, I feel like it's not. A I'd, I'd have to. Um, one, I, w- I want to apologize too to to Coach Bud because I I will say what I was saying now in hindsight last week about how if they want to seriously look at making changes. Now I still agree that championship teams need to make adjustments after the season yeah, or whatever. Fine, but you shut me up too. But it's not gonna be fine. <laughs> but but is but has been coaching phenomenal specifically in this finals, and I just don't. And he's been like, making he's adjustments. Not, he's he's, he's been making the adjustments. Like he's been doing. Everything that people have been hating on him for, maybe he's just been saving it till he got to the end. Hell, maybe that was his plan all along. Like even in, in Atlanta, he was gonna wait until we got to the finals. You see what I'm saying? Put Jeff T at the five. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I mean, he's really like pulling out every trick in the book. I, I just really to have Giannis as uh, uh, leading in fourth quarter scoring. And the highest E10 score out of everybody on the court. I, that's just the craziest thing in the world. So, well, playing great um, defense. Real quick, 225 in the chat. Hey, nah, I did two oh, of my replays. Hey, man. 
Crazy. We on time, bro. Uh, but, I, but the D is the D is a part of his E10 score, though. That's a part of his E10 score. The defense. E10. To, um, yeah, E10. What is E10? Eating this dick, Vsos. Come on, you fall for it every time. Oh, I knew, I knew, I knew. Fall for it every time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Dom, Dom, you're on the same boat, man. Tasting. Oh, <laughs> Yo, when he said that, I was like, the fuck? Who calls him Tasting? I was like, oh. <laughs> like, like, Ethan, I thought this was like a new advanced uh, stat that Eli knows about. I'm like, yo, what's, what's going on? I'm literally on, just sitting there smiling when he says eat. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I just, I just like, bro, come on. Um, that's why I tried to talk over him. I tried to save. You. I literally, I literally tried to save you. I tried to talk over him. Talking about some fucking Luca. He <laughs> just, oh my god. Um, oh. but before before we move on, um, I want to go around one. Just what I mean. This this is probably be the last finals product uh, finals prediction. Rudy, what do you think uh, is gonna happen in this finals now that we're sitting at three two? Uh, sons and seven, you know. Got to. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Is that the prediction for real? I mean, sure. That's what I want to happen. So you know, I have to believe it. You know, to be <laughs> See him be going crazy in the chat. He he disabled the sub only mode, and then he said, "Y'all have ten minute. Y'all have a ten minute recess <laughs> before you guys go back right, inside." That's funny. That's funny. I ain't gonna lie. That's funny. Shit. I'm that's funny. dead. I'm before dead. we finish going around doing the. Uh, the finals predictions, though, I really wanted to uh, kind of stick on the player comparison thing for one more beat. Uh, specifically, I wanted to ask Sage, just because I know that you have not exactly been eager to put Giannis towards, like, the absolute top tier of the league's players, right? Like, I've heard you say, like, you would put Giannis, like, 7th, 8th, and, and, like, shit like that. But the yeah, discourse... That was in the yeah, in the past, in the past, yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to like hide gotcha. I'm not you, 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 that. You, you have to question. Um, but what I have seen though is like people trying to argue that like Anthony Davis is still better though, and so I'm curious as to what you all think about that because the argument I'm seeing is basically inside scoring equal, defense equal, and then the other two levels of scoring AD better. <laughs> that's the argument I'm seeing. I was like, you know, that's compelling, but like. There's more to it than that. Inside scoring is not equal. Let me say that first. That's point. why I learned. That's, first of all, that's a lie. Yeah, that's um, a lie. I, I, so, uh, hold on, hold on. Y'all, y'all think Giannis hey, is that much better? Hell yeah. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. Before yeah. I even talk about the comparison, look, yeah. this is the holy trinity of all um, basketball takes, apparently. So I just got to <laughs> say the magic word so everybody knows I'm right. As a Lakers fan, <laughs> no, no, Giannis is a better inside scorer. I don't know why people do that shit. You say your fan base, you talk about the team. I'm, I guess he's right, man. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, he's, oh. A, he's an expert. <laughs> As a Suns fan, man, D Book is the best one. Fuck. <laughs> he's so no, nah, no, nah, you gotta, you gotta be like as a Laker fan and then go against the player on the team I mean, so they know man, you're not being biased, a, a so they know it's real. As a Laker fan, yo, people game better than CJ. D- no, 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 as a Suns <laughs> fan, bro, I ain't gonna lie. If we had D Mitch, we'd be better. Like that's how it goes. <laughs> oh God, uh, nah, I hate that. I hate that shit so much. Oh, I thought, you, I thought I was, I was gonna say I like the I like the Lakers before LeBron came. Too. That's the other one you gotta say. Nah, I've been a Lakers fan before LeBron. Yeah, I've been a Lakers fan my whole life, man. Yo, I mean. I was a Lakers fan before LeBron. Vujicic, Sasha Vujicic. I've been, I've been a Lakers fan. Start naming them. Robert Sacre. You know, you, you probably don't know. You know what's crazy? Y'all know, you know, know crazy? about Jordan Farmer, man. Listen, Ooh. it's wild as a Lakers fan. Niggas <laughs> don't believe you're a Lakers fan until you start naming bum ass niggas. Then, like, no, no, casuals no. will believe you. Casuals will believe if, if a casual, if you meet a casual on like locker room and shit, nigga, you ain't no real Lakers fan. What? He wasn't there when Ryan Kelly was there. Oh, he said Ryan Kelly. Oh, he on the roof. He a roof fan. He a roof my fan. game is based Kelly. off my, my personal game is based off DJ Banger. So oh I just oh I'm a, uh, <laughs> I, I play like uh, Devin Eubanks, bro. Oh my, <laughs> yo, yo, or something yo. like that. DJ Banks or something. Oh, no, that hey, stop, stop, stop. Wait, <laughs> now. What was his name? name? What's it, Devin Eubanks? Yeah, yeah. Was you Banks. Yeah. That's what I said. Yo, I thought it was yeah, Earl for some said. reason, but yo, I, I knew Earl he Clark was going to be that know. nigga. How about I Earl knew Clark you would be there. Earl, Earl Clark, Clark was, was the, the truth Clark. for like it 30 games. Clark. 30 <laughs> games. That's what it was. It was Earl Clark. <laughs> Man, Zabby, all, 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 all away games, mm. too. No, they were home. He had Staples going lit. I mean, does any... I don't... I I think Giannis is better than AD now. I don't... It's a different skill set. I guess they're saying that the other skill set is more valuable, but I guess it depends on what you desire. If it's a team by myself, I know what I get with the AD team 
an AD led team. M- maybe a team with somebody else. Oh my God, CNB ain't what? going. Oh, see, CNB ain't going down with a fight. What? 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 AD led team. He lied. He, <laughs> he said, "Yeah, we ain't going out like that." Yeah. What AD led teams were healthy? That's fair. Like those Pelican Damn. teams, <laughs> they, they weren't Damn. healthy. I, I, I mean, and now the other Why thing ever? though, the other the, now there's two things to that. One, mm. does AD not? I feel like AD holds a, a part of that not being healthy. That's one. The team not being healthy. He's no, I mean like he was. He was. His wife was going through whatever she was going through. He left. He's the reason Reek wasn't there. He's the reason Eric Gordon's no, but I'm saying some, of, some of those times, like, some of those times it was him not being on the too, right? I mean, you know what's crazy? If you go back and look, AD has not missed as many games as niggas think. Mm-hmm. Go back and look at the games. It was like a consistent game twenty games a year, which is yeah, yeah. I'm about to say he missed. That's a fourth a good of the season. season. That's a lot, bro. That's like on some NBA type shit. If you because it, it wasn't like he got hurt twice in the same season. Well, sometimes he did, but sometimes it's like, nah, bro. You you nah, well, he was into his one, two, three, four, fifth year before he played 70 games. Yeah. At 82, we already agree you don't need 82 games anyway. With Giannis, they shouldn't. <laughs> with, with Giannis, I think hopefully it carries on for next season and the rest of his career. But I have yeah. seen like noticeable improvements in his half court game and like his ability mm-hmm. to to score in a mid range when you just give him the ball and you want him to score. Right, I'm not talking mm-hmm. honest. So I'm trying to tell him, look, I ain't trying. I'm and not, you, bro, I'm, his post game is underrated, bro. I ain't gonna lie. His post game. Second and third year, he played sixty eight and sixty seven games. I get it, bro. He ain't played. He was three and two games off of seventy. His second and third year. I mean, he's playing. My thing is with players in the regular season. As long as you can give me like. A good 60, 65 games in the regular season, and you're good for the playoffs. Are we really tripping? Like, again, how many do you really need a guy to play all those games in fucking November? Does it's he like have to the, play every game in March? Like, the, and you're good for the playoffs, though. That's like not just a given, though. If you're missing 20 games a year, that also raises the likelihood of those 20 games coming in April or whatever, you know? And you beat like Anthony Davis this year and cost your team a chance of exiting the first round. But this year was his worst year with me. injuries, though. Like, this is the worst it's been with injuries. And if you look at the yeah, other years yeah, no, in his career, yeah, if this you look at the other years in his career, Mickey when it got to the playoff it. time, and <laughs> again, <laughs> he, uh, outside the uh, outside the one with the Lakers where he went the furthest because he won, other ones he got bounced early. But even then, it wasn't because of health. Like, he was busting ass. His team was just outmatched in the West. Like, I think he's, I, and correct I, me if I'm wrong, did he only make it to the finals once before the Lakers? No, he didn't make it to the finals at all. Uh, no, not, not finals. Right? Uh, playoff, playoffs. My bad. My bad. Oh, yeah. He only, yeah. He only made it to the playoffs once before he the Lakers. He made it to the playoffs twice, but he twice. got spanked by Golden State twice. I, I know. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. The Pelicans got spanked. He bust ass. He averaged 31. I, I, oh, he, yeah. averaged, okay. he was busting great ass that year. I know. Is there a way to look at injuries on, on, ble- on basketball reference? There's like an injury it's, thing, right? There's, yeah, there's an injury. at the very bottom, I'm pretty sure. But oh, no, yeah, yeah, he was okay. busting ass, and then the second time he made it was 17 18. Again, average 30th, um, 13 in Stupid. nine games in the playoffs. 80, so it's ben, like ben he ben performs, ben. it's not like he gets to the playoffs and just implodes. His teams legit were never healthy in on the world. Like seems, Drew Holiday, his second best health. player, just be, was on. They were just really the worst team comparing to Golden State. Well, yeah, that too. But even in the regular seasons, not even getting to the playoffs, in the regular seasons, he legit just – there was no help. Like, Drew Holiday took a hiatus for like a damn – a season or two because his wife. Like, the players they had there weren't healthy or it was just bad mixes. And even then, they still were able to bust – Lamey and Lillard's ass that oh, one man. year because he got uh, double team. Now nah, fuck that. I don't care what nobody said. That's the weakest shit. They started throwing sets to me. I ain't never seen. They doubled you, my nigga. Like you're a loser. I don't care. But that's we're not, not the Warriors yet. fans. They don't. They only think Curry's so, well, been the only one that's, the that's been double team. <laughs> um, what's the call? So the the predictions, real quick. Um, just what do y'all think? Rudy said Suns in seven. Um, B souls, what I, you got? I got Bucks in six. If Game Six is in Milwaukee, I got Bucks in six. Damo. Bucks and seven. Uh, Sage. Uh, I'm gonna be on Rudy Thomas, man. I can't speak. I can't speak the Suns losing, man. I don't got Chris Paul's the wallpaper and shit. Give me Bucks Suns and seven. Oh my god. Like okay. Seven. Yeah. So Suns and seven for real, just because like if Monty Williams plays Chris Paul like forty plus minutes, 
you know, Devin Booker ain't stranded out there to let the Bucks go on a run, you know, with being the only guy who can run the offense. Chris Paul, please get this fucking ring door. <laughs> oh, God. But I don't care about this. I, w- I want to conclude this topic with this. I don't care who wins in the sense of both deserve it. Both. both. It, it's no good guy, bad guy shit. I think that's the problem. It's no good guy, bad guy shit outside of being a Suns fan. As a neutral basketball fan, I'm just looking at it shit like they, they both cool. They, they, like, they both cool. Like, it'd be nice if Giannis got it done. Um, He'd be on historic timing. Some and people don't Chris like Chris Paul, bro. I, ain't I was about to say, some people hate Chris Paul. Yo, like, I, I, yo, I don't know. I mean, it, we was talking about the finals briefly. The Chris Paul CP0 shit. How? I, I, I've never seen a guy. I've never seen a guy be and to mid at best for three quarters, elevate his game in the fourth, and be called a choker. I've never seen. He ne- He didn't single shot in the he had 10 points, came down the court, hit two threes, hit a clutch layup that only got outmatched by a clutch dunk. But I've never seen that shit happen and he'd be called a choker. I, I, I'm, mm. Shout out to CMB um, for the gifted and for extending his um subscription as well. That's okay. well. So People really uh, do not like Chris Paul, though. That's it, it, People don't like Chris Paul. It's Giannis, Twitter too. Giannis's age 26 resume, two, two most valuable players of the year, back to back. Five-time NBA All-Star, All-Star Game MVP, three All-NBA first teams, which he probably looks to extend in the future, two All-NBA second teams, Defensive Player of the Year, which some would argue that he should have more than one, but we'll see how that comes up to. Uh, Three-time All-NBA Defensive First Team, which he looks to extend. Uh, Second team appearance, Most Improved Player appearance, All-Rookie Second Team, and he will also, what we think, if if they win, he'll have a ring, and he'll have a finals MVP all before the age of 26. Giannis will most likely be a top 25 player of all time at the end of this. Um, going on to other legacies, you know, we got to see what the balls is talking about. Two, two quick things. One, Leangelo was spotted working out with the Charlotte Hornets. Um, how do we feel about my guy, Leangelo, possibly getting another shot in the NBA? Or was he just working out with his brother? No, nope, they're smart. Charlotte, Charlotte is thinking with their big noggin. They're thinking big brain. They're thinking big brain. Not smooth brain, big brain. Some would they're, say big baller brain, huh? Hey, big baller brain, man. Keep your, keep your stars happy. <laughs> what did the Bucks do? DKM saw that the said, do? content. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out DKM, bro. Shout out DKM. Shout out to DKM. <laughs> the Bucks went out and they signed Big Brother Thanasis to just be on the bench and dance, nigga. Like he might get in and dunk every other seventeen games in the regular season, but other than that, he on the bench supporting his brother because you keep your stars happy. They know Lamelo is the guy for them. They know Lamelo is the future for them. Keep him happy. Bring his brother on the team and complete the Holy Trinity. If the Lakers decide to be dickheads and not get Dame and go ahead and, I mean, be a dickhead and not get Zoe and go for fucking Lamey and Lillard, you scoop up Zoe. Now you got the trifecta. I'm just saying they're building. I'm out on the play. 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 In this hypothetical situation where we could get both, because <laughs> we can't get either, but if we could get both. Lonzo Ball or Mr. Lamian Lillard, who would you get? Because I'm taking Zoe 10 times out of 10. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. No, are, we, are we talking about on the Hornets or just in general? On the Lakers. I'm talking about on the Lakers. Oh, on the well, Lakers. Since, since we're switching up. Since we're switching up and we got to talk about both balls, um, that is the rumor that's in the rumor mill. Uh, Lonzo and Dame. Lonzo's return to LA and Dame uh, coming, coming to the to the LA area. Not Space Jam Dame. Bro, Send his stop. ass to the Clippers. Bro, across the way. He Fuck just averaged like 35 and 10. Stop. He lost. He a loser. I don't oh care. My God. Bro, like, hey. okay, so this is my thing. This is my thing. This is my thing. This is how I look at it. This is how I look at it. And no he cap, sound like no TNT bullshit. Shaq right now, bro. I'm, yo, I can, I'll sound like whatever. Listen, my whole thing is this. My whole thing is this. Ernie. When it comes to having Dame or Zoe, I would much rather have Zoe because one, the expectations for what Zoe needs to be on this team is lower. The spotlight on him would be lower compared to a guy like Dane. For a guy like Zoe, what? one, we're playing in the West, guard dominant in the West. All the best teams have great, good to great guards in the West. We need defense. 
We need defense on the perimeter. We have Caruso to play D, but Caruso is just one guy. We need two guys in the backcourt, wait, in the backcourt to defend a lot of these teams. You get Lonzo. His primary focus is defense. Take the playmaking load off of LeBron if him not playing point guard is a real thing. Like him not wanting to be the point guard. If that's so true, cool. Get Lonzo, take the playmaker responsibilities. He's already proved he's a good a good spot-up shooter. Catch and shoot. Everyone's been saying, oh, on the Pelicans, his shooting numbers look great. Eli, oh, his numbers look great. But it's just because it's catch and shoot. It's not off the dribble. It's open shot. Well, that's what you're going to get playing with LeBron and fucking Anthony Davis. Let him do that. We need that in our point guard. If you get Dame, you're hoping he buys in and plays better defense. You're going to want – he's a scorer. We don't need just an isocentric scorer playing with LeBron and AD. We don't need a guy that's like, you know what my theory is to make it start to double me? He's not that isocentric. 40? I'm not saying – shut up. I'm not, 40 footers. 40 footers to combat double teams. That's what we need. That's what you want, Sage? Close game. Down to yes, the wire. Yes. He's he's walking up the court. Yes, he's yes. like, oh, 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 double team, 40 footer. That's what you want. That, that's, that's how you want it. better than playing hot potato. Okay, okay. Who's playing hot potato? It's called it's Lonzo called and LeBron? If, if, if. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the right basketball the, play. Ooh. I mean, what about, I just, what about the <laughs> nicknames LeBronzo? <laughs> I like those nicknames. <laughs> hey, that snaps and stuff. How did he counter to, all right, anyway, um, no. Nah. Take a game, no difficulty, no blinks, no questions. Thought, I, I'd cry tears of joy. I, I I would I wouldn't I might not even watch the season. Um, I might just be like, all right, what are we doing? Like, if we had Dame, are you you giving Damian Lillard the, arguably the best defender in basketball outside Kyle of Kuzma? Outside of a couple of players, <laughs> do you give him LeBron James along with a bunch of other defensive? Coaching, let alone, but are you kidding? Dane would go so stupid without having to be the third, without having to be the second best player on the team. This nigga would average like 27 on damn near 50 46. Oh my God. Yo, if LeBron, so. if LeBron could drive and kick to a nigga 35 feet, yeah, I got go ahead, bro. Spotting up at the logo. <laughs> And actually Rudy, shooting at a high so. clip. <laughs> Rudy, Rudy, I'm I'm guessing that Rudy's picking um Rudy's you picking da- you're picking Dame over Lonzo. We'd win. Yeah. We'd win. Yeah. I'm We'd win. Dame over Lonzo. Okay. If if he could try to kick, I'm gonna say that one more time. Just so niggas got branded. <laughs> if a bro could drive and get to a nigga 35 feet out, nah, bro. What? What? That's broken. That's that's broken. Yeah. You don't if I'm Go the ahead. Lakers, I'm I'm definitely taking Dame over. But you can't Lonzo. get either. But the reason why I'm laughing at all because you can't get either. You can't. We ain't got shit for Zoe, let alone. <laughs> yeah, the game it, back it's to, it's to reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's the conversation out of the way? For we 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 can get either one. How it's called a sign and trade. You sign and trade Dennis Schroeder. That's how you get him. That's the only way. Do you know how much? Uh, what's his name? Wait, you think they're gonna max out Dennis if, Schroeder and then yeah. send him to Portland? If you well, sign well, it, well, I know a sign. <laughs> I know a sign and trade for Schroeder. I listen. I know a sign and trade for Lonzo definitely works, but for Dame, you will probably have to sign him to mad money, a max or close to a max. Also, uh-huh. giving up Kuzma, who wants to be gone at this point, okay. and give up probably KCP because that's what There's KCP's no making. What There's KCP's no making? Way. What? Like, There's no way. Like, 15 something. Yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to just do it. KCP's making 15. Kuz was making what? 13, maybe a little north of 13. And then you're giving Schroeder 20 plus. If Dane demands a trade and those are the only two teams he wants to go to, and the Blazers respects his wishes, that it, it has to go. Everything has to line perfectly. I'm not just saying, oh, that's just a hands down best option. Everything has to line perfectly, and they want to send him where he wants to go. If he says the Lakers, and that's the package from the Lakers. And he said, who do you say? He said Lakers. Well, no, it was a fake tweet. But if he's saying Lakers, I'm just saying, if that's the only team he wants to go to, other than he's walking, then you take the best package you can get from Lakers' paws. But for Lonzo, it's just very possible game. to sign and trade for Dennis Schroeder, and you don't have to necessarily give a whole max mm-hmm. deal. Oh, what the fuck? Right. I can't zoom in, so I got to move in close <laughs> to the mic. <line. laughs> 
Wait, 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 wait. Dame, Dame. Dame makes uh, 40, 45 going on 50 million. So that's ridiculous. Don't you have to be within Shout a certain Dame. Shout out Dame. Holy don't you have to be certain within percentage, a certain percentage, but they, they would, I mean. And if the Lakers, and the Lakers only going to have Braun and AD on the roster, technically, if that's the case for that trade. Because other than Braun and AD, it's, it's KCP, Kuzma, and who else? Because I know like, Russo's a free agent. I mean, like James uh, Jones would have to suit up. They'd have to call the old Miami Heat squad. They might ask Chris. Well, Boston yeah, it, 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 James Jones, Dave, congratulations on your Chris ring. Please Boston suit up. Please suit up. <laughs> Chris Bosh, suit up. Udonis has. Yeah, them. you have to. You have to. What you call it? You you definitely what you call it? You have to take minimum players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, You're out there with a bunch Dame, of A D, LeBron, and 14 minimum dudes. That's Chauncey, literally what Chauncey it I know you just got a coaching job. Suit up. That would be like that Kevin that Kevin Willis thing that we talked about last night. I don't know if y'all know this Sage Kevin and Rudy. Willis. <laughs> Kevin Willis Kevin funny. Willis got drafted the same year as Mike Jordan and then oh. retired in two thousand and seven. Damn. <laughs> He retired at 44. 44. I'm looking 44. 44 years old is when Kevin Willis officially retired from the NBA. So that it would be one of those situations. If, that if motherfucker they would literally clock it. into a game like it's a nine to five, bro. Like, what the fuck? I know Josh he doesn't count of basketball. I know he doesn't play any basketball like recreationally. I know that shit is boring. Like, I, you know, I played this for a long time. I played in this what the fuck? I haven't shot a basketball since 2007. That's, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> horrible, bro. I just, so, I just, I just want to say, um, the Lonzo one, I think it'd be a shit offer, but if you could convince them, cool. The Dame, the Dame one, I'm going to play this in a pr- retrospect, and if we agree to disagree, so be it. Kuz, KCP, and Dennis average a combined 25 I think 25, 26 points a night. And Dane by himself averages 34. He averages more assists than them. He's more efficient than them. It, there's no universe what they do. I'm not going to lie. If they pull that trigger. Mm, that's terrible sell logic, team. Sage. I ain't going to lie. Sell, sell, sell the team. How's that terrible logic? Bro, they did because the same thing with AD. Really? Remember when AD got traded and Colin Coward was like, the pieces they traded for AD combined were, for what okay, the production Okay, okay, so, all right, but I got to add context to this. Fine. Um, Dennis Schroeder, he's getting paid max dollars. Dennis Schroeder's not a max contract guy. That'd be the only way you'd uh KCP. What is KCP gonna do for you in a roster around CJ McCullough? Nothing. <laughs> um, and then and Cal Kuzma, a literally a pro at, at take away my opinion from him. A young talent with something to prove. That'd be something that'd be a fair assignment. Best. Yeah. All of that or Damian Lillard, uh fringe like the the slightest tier below MVP candidate every season who is capable of dropping 57 on seven minutes. That's, that's better. Game. That's better than the, the points. But again, that's we're great. talking about a guy who great. if any again, I'm saying this happens if he demands a trade, because we also seen James Harden traded for who? Wasn't it Karis Levert in um that's, that's what, Jared Allen? That. That's better than us. That's genuinely is better. it? How much better yeah. is it? Because they didn't keep Jared Allen. Karis LeVert. Or Karis LeVert. Karis LeVert and Jared Allen is four first is genuinely better than what we have. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But what I'm saying is, this only. I'm not saying, yo, this is just the trade we offered them. No. If Dame demands a trade and only picks the Lakers, that's the only way this is happening. That's the only way. That's the only package we could give them. And that's (laughs) the only way. That's the only reason I'm saying this. I'm not saying that this is. This is hands down what we need to do and they be idiots for not taking it. No, this is Dame comes out and says, I don't want to be here. I want to be on the Lakers. Make it happen. This is the only way we can make it happen. I think. And we're talking about uh, at that point, the Blazers are tanking. They're tanking. They're not trying to compete anymore. So at that point, it's a fire sell for whoever else is on that team. So now you're just thinking about, okay, can I flip these pieces over this? Can I flip these pieces for this? Can I move this for that? Whatever the case may be. You're tanking now. So it doesn't matter what KCP is going to like to CJ because CJ might not be there. It doesn't matter where you fit Kuzma into the lineup because Kuzma is going to be probably your best work. player. Like you're fire selling everybody at that point. It's a tank that job. Work, so if we're talking about KCP as a raw talent, that's even worse. I think, I think the Lakers issue stem from 
not signing Kevin Porter Jr. when they had the chance. But uh, oh my God. moving moving to the next thing. Um, Yo, shout out shout out to the two twenty five in the building, man. Yeah, career highs, say, career highs, yeah, man. Beyond no question, no review. It's career high strength. Career high sub up, like, sub you're, up. You're welcome, can, man. Sub up how, how Join many the VIP. Me? Join the VIP. Career highs because I can't get too low. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Hey, you, hey, when I slow down, when I slow down like that, that means I have nothing. I, I want y'all to know that when I start to slow down. Um, last topic because I know folks are ready for the the rumble in the jungle. Um, Kevin Durant. I don't. Did we we didn't we didn't talk about this last time. This happened. The Twitter space thing with Kevin Durant. We just talked after. about it yesterday on the stream. I just, I want to get Rudy and Sage's opinion on it as well. Um, Kevin Durant was on Twitter Spaces arguing with d- a delusional Warriors fans um, to be, you know, for lack of a better word. I don't know. Are both of y'all familiar with what happened in the Twitter Space? I, I don't really know. I've been busy. Yeah. yeah, I know. Katie was on Twitter Spaces. Uh, Eli won't shut the hell up about it, but some. Not even so. It was the one before that one. Kevin Durant. There's a there's a Warriors fan that talks about you know. They were talking about how Dame felt in these situations with the trade rumors and this and and somebody else mentioned, you know, we should really be asking KD about this. And he said, KD interjected and said, you know, let him speak on his Twitter space. Um, And they proceed to basically challenge Kevin Durant's basketball knowledge uh, with the double teams thing. Um, But they tell him he doesn't he doesn't know what a double team is. Um, To get to give more context on that claim, essentially, they were talking about. Um, Stephen Curry, and I, I'm pretty sure sh- I may be wrong on this, but they literally asked him like, "Did Steph make you a better player and shit like that?" Which is which is a wild, I think, a wild question to ask. A little, uh-huh. a little, little bit pushing it, but um, he was they the conversation shifted to talking about how Stephen Curry was being defended and his gravity and how he was being defended just differently compared to everyone else in the league, um, and then. KD go KD brings up James Harden, who in 2019, at the very least, was being double teamed in the same fashion. Steph Curry, because they were bringing up like how Curry is a threat once he passes half court that they double team him. So KD brought up on uh, James Harden. And I don't think he brought this up, but we we brought it up a little bit earlier. Dame was experiencing the same thing in 2018. So they said they said nobody in the league uh has been double teamed like curry's been in the league and that's when he brought up james harden yeah. they also brought up um the book written by ian strauss ethan strauss michael i think it's Ethan. Mike, okay e- michael strauss um <laughs> the book written by james strauss and you know which talks about draymond and some of the warriors things and, and some of it about kevin durant and his feelings and attitudes towards the team kevin durant basically telling them you know I, that's not how i felt I, you, you guys gotta stop listening to ethan strauss um, and which they continue to kind of badger Kevin Durant about, well, you, you need to let us know how you felt. And he's telling them, you don't have to know how I feel. You also shouldn't listen to Ethan Strauss. So all in all, it's Kevin Durant back on his Twitter tirades for the summer. Um, you guys have any thoughts on it? I know I know Damo expressed last night, but. Well, I missed y'all takes, so I would love to hear y'all's after. But um, I'm going to be brief so my man Rudy could speak. Um, a KD, first of all, I'm gonna say in the casual way, we we I hope we all agree to it. Asking Kevin Durant, a superstar in the NBA, what he knows about double teams in basketball. <laughs> if, if you can't if you can't look in the mirror and just be like, bro, this is not what I'm asking Kevin Durant, shut the hell up. That's just not a question. Um, but tro- troll aside, I mean, people people are looking at Kevin Durant's career. And they kind of just belittle it because he didn't have shit teammates. And it, it ties back with the Giannis thing to me personally, because it's like, well, Giannis's teammates aren't shit, but he's what y'all want, essentially, right? And y'all are out here dicking on KD, making up every little thing to go at him, even if it's literally his feelings. But for some reason, for some reason, it can't you can't praise another player for doing what you want them to do in those absurd standards. So it's it's really just more of NBA Twitter being stupid to me, honestly. But um, I say KD um is right in the sense he doesn't have to express his opinion all the fucking time. Now he does have to. I mean, he don't get double like how Steph do, but he can also. What one thing that people don't talk about is Kevin around seven feet. 
You don't double KD the same way you double Steph. You don't just bring two, six, five people with their hands up to double KD. They ain't gonna do shit to the motherfucker anyway, because he's going you gonna be right under him doing this and <laughs> over here. So yeah, that's not how you double Kevin Durant. You double Kevin Durant by making sure he has no option or any lanes or anywhere else to go in basketball. That's how you double Kevin Durant. You make him play on the right side, you make him play in the middle or the left side. You don't double Kevin Durant because you have two bodies on him. It's like the dumbest thing you can do. He he can be a F tier playmaker all he wants. He's seven feet. He just he does this, and the ball is either in the basket or in. Like you can't do anything about it. So uh people are just being stupid. But go ahead, Rudy. My yeah, I mean, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. It's not like we're entitled to know what Kevin Durant's thoughts and feelings are. Like I know he's a public figure, but like he's not that public of a figure, you know? Like we're lucky to get what <laughs> what 20, 20, 20 million uh, 20 million followers on Instagram. Right. It's Kevin Wayne. Go on now. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I didn't we mute him. Mute his mic. Right, right. But it's not like you know, he's like an elected official where it's like, hey, there's this pressing issue. We need to know what you think about this because, right. you know, right. you have power here. It's just, he's just a celebrity. You know what I mean? Like, we don't absolutely have to know what Kevin Durant thinks and feels all the time. Maybe, 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 you know, when he's retired and, you know, still all over social media, we'll get to hear 20 years down the road what his thoughts and, you know, around Steph Curry and all that are. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, I love Kevin Durant post burner, you know, like post him being post. on Twitter is great. <laughs> like him not hiding behind burner accounts is like one of the yeah, best. Yeah, I, I admit that to him being on the burner shit. They ain't somebody fucking next, next step. Like, next step, next step he needs to just start pulling up on people. I ain't gonna hold you. And just like with a, with a basketball. He'd be the best show on television. If, he, if Kevin Durant walking around with a court all the time, it was just like, you talking I'd, shit? I'd, 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 watch the, I'd watch the hell out of that. I'm not going to lie to you. God, that'd be the I best don't lie if you drink Kevin Durant. Just a, a plexiglass a plexiglass basketball court with yeah. a little water at the bottom. A little sandbag and shit. Just like, like a, a nasty, ashy basketball and a van. And Kevin Durant's just pulling up to people's houses. First of three. He, he's like, he's like, yeah, your name is uh, Tim Man 123 these your tweets right all right put your shoes on put your shoes on put your shoes on put your, put your shoes on put your shoes on I, oh are those you know KDs? You get, interesting interesting yeah. <laughs> interesting you get you, you get ball first you're wearing KDs as well <laughs> you you get ball first everything like that check up oh, you, episode you two kevin durant versus bulls got next <laughs> <laughs> okay you get you get ball every possession i'm gonna just bank off of your misses and clearing it out and scoring that way <laughs> And he's still gonna destroy your ass, bro. Hey, that, hey, nah, I'm not playing a motherfucker that says that. I don't care how good he is. Motherfucker said, here's the deal. We're gonna play first to ten. You get the ball every time. I can only I'm score just gonna bang your on your missing. <laughs> hey, you win. I know you're for real, bro. I'm and he bro. still you... ten zips you. What the fuck? Yeah, Jesus Christ. You can spot the dude nine points too. Like, <laughs> right. make make one. Just team. make one wild ass shot and you no, win. No, no, this, these kids. Those kids on there are incels, so all right, they look they look oh, like yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all I was thinking about it. he pulled up on me with that dumb shit, but kids, yeah, kids, yeah. <laughs> they, them kids are incels. Oh, they never the stick Katie. Up. Hey, Kevin what Durant you the doing? Man. What you doing to Katie, bro? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what that, nigga, nigga, Kevin Durant pulls up on me, gifted me nine points. We going to ten. He's I'm, I'm throwing it up miss. there. I'm throwing it up there. I'm about to say, oh, best believe I'm hitting that. Shot. Okay, okay, I'm about to say, okay, you, that situation, I'm with you. Yeah, that situation. Oh, no, like no, 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 like, no, you, you might be lacking, bro. You need one miss swipe, one miss swipe on my block shot. That motherfucker go, with me. G. Oh, yeah, <laughs> me. If you want it's to, nigga, you know, me. walk up that court, Matt. Yeah, and I'm talking it's shit. Yeah, I'm mean. going oh, yeah. 10 on it, nigga. I'm, I'm going straight to Twitter. It. I'm in no ear. Oh, He's got his ass busted. Oh, my yeah. God. I have a great ass. I'm 10 KD. He's a bitch. Dude, this Twitter space. Fuck out of here. Look who got their ass busted. Oh, my God. Did you not? Did you not? Who got busted 10 zap, nigga? The rats over my ass. Hey, Dom, you right there with me, bro? If you make the first one, oh, my God. Oh my God! Man, Ten zip said, KD. Yeah, get the fuck. Busted. Getting on Twitter saying that you busted somebody's ass who gifted you nine points is crazy. Oh, yes. I'm gonna make you, He go. I'm gonna make that nigga wanna play me again. I'm hell no, nah, nigga. Get the fuck off my get off my property, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Fuck call the cops. You're yeah, actually call the authorities. Now. Now, I'll I'll call the authorities. Hey Dom, hey Dom, I'll pull up on you next time. <laughs> you know, hey, let me pull up to your mansion next time. You wanna play? Fuck out of here. Get your lame ass on out of here. 
I wrote dope. to my Call of Duty game to bust your ass. MJ <laughs> player. My oh my god, it's, it's, me. it's me, nigga. It's the greatest scorer of all time. Fuck out of here. You can't even score on me. Fuck out of here. Give me a bucket. <laughs> hey, give me a bucket, nigga. That's broadly. Wow. Broadly. Broadly. But those, those dudes, those dudes are just like the epitome of like new age basketball. Um, just like the, the one, they're they're incels to me. I, I probably just like, hey, it is what it is. But it, like it's the Warriors, to use that's that's what he's trying to say. Warriors, Warriors are um like warrior the Warriors of that era like low key of ruined basketball from like a fan's perspective. Like a lot of these people are just delusional. I was in. And it only seems to happen when I'm in these dunked on rooms and green room. I was in another room today and they were talking about, I can't remember the exact question, but they were talking about inefficient scores and they lumped in Kobe Bryant and Russell Westbrook when they were talking about inefficient scores. And I was like, see, the only person that would ask that is somebody who's a new age Warriors fan. And sure enough, when you click that, that bio and it popped up, it had the teams listed and it was Warriors. And then when you go on their Twitter page, it was um it was this Warriors person in a Warriors but a Warriors jersey with like you know the S dot curry, like yeah. So those are like those are the people that say those dumb things that equate like I I slander Kobe, but to to equate him to be an inefficient scorer like Russell Westbrook is like a wild statement. But those are the people that and frankly, those are the people that hate Giannis too. Cause he doesn't shoot. Like oh, there's a bunch of other. Like it's, I, it's crazy how you can hate on a dude for being inefficient simultaneously hate on Giannis in theory. <laughs> it's, it's, he's not. He's not. He doesn't tween tween step back three, bro. That true shooting percentage is just free throws and twos. I hate it. <laughs> I heard. I heard somebody say that Warriors fans were insecure about their superstar, and I feel like that's the. That's like that was a really big statement too. They're insecure about Steph Curry's greatness in the league today. Um. His, you know, the run that they had in Golden State and where he ranks all time as a person as well. I wish he was a Lego because why? The nigga great. <laughs> like, Curry's wild. So like, what was it? What, what do you? But they feel like he should be. I mean, they feel like he should be in like way different levels of players than he should like be in. Like there, there are Warriors fans that will like defend him, like will put his case against like Michael Jordan's and stuff like that. Especially and in it, 2016 and, and the running was going on in 2015, 2016. Let's just be honest. If they won the finals that year and he was performing oh, tremendously, yeah. he w- oh, he would yeah. be in that trajectory. But ever since then, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, KD. Even, but, I mean, that's just niggas being sleep. Like I like I've been saying, man. If someone told me I got my whole take, and people disagree with this take, and maybe this will be the first all time vid I do. I'm gonna believe everybody between the top. 10 it 10 to 15 ish depending on the exact name oh my god a conversation to be the goat whether they win it or lose it no shit or lot have a top 15 but everybody in that range one way or another has a case to be the goat in some shape or fashion and i'm just like especially the top 10 I'm I'm in. except for kobe but it, it, i think kobe's the only one where you could be like nah he ain't it because it's literally MJ, but at the same time, you can say the same thing with Kobe because Kobe was in the heart. Like, oh, Kobe was in a whole different era. So, hey, man, it'd be a, see, really, it'd be a Kobe, really weak argument. Kobe, I guess Kobe's you can the make only, it. Kobe's I guess. the only one that you can really make that argument. Like, everybody else, you can legit say they have a case to be the GOAT. Now, do they lose that case? Yes, my GOAT is my GOAT. But it, it's, it's, all, it's all argument. No, and what's, what's the same face? <laughs> yeah, what's what, what's what's got a case to be the GOAT? Me and Dom will be on the same page. All right, I didn't want to say that. Larry Bird. Um, What's his yeah. case? There's, there's only, there's there only one. Time? There's only one What's, white guy who has a case to be Larry? the greatest. Bro, and I think we know who he is. I mean, he, he, we know say, he saved he, the he, NBA. Hey Dom, hey Dom, hey Dom, hey Dom. Hey, Dom. Like, so I thought you meant Luca saved the NBA. Put me on blast. You'd be right. I mean, I don't, I don't have that shit in my brain right now. But I'm gonna just say this, man. If he's about to say Luca, Larry Bird has a case. I'm about to say I didn't want him to go the Luca route. I, I was mad when he says like one white player. Hey, they call us the Luca Avengers now. I don't know if you know, bro. The Luca Avengers. Luka Avengers. Oh, you think I'm gonna say? You think I'm gonna say Dirk or something like that? You think I'm gonna say Dirk? Dan, 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 Dan. Hey, shout out, Luca. <laughs> the killers, I love Luca. Y'all just be different. I don't get it. I love Luca. Like him, my man. third favorite player. Y'all just built different. That's because you, you love him. I'm in love with Luca. Like oh yeah, I think it's a difference. I'm like, oh, I'm married. <laughs> 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 
Damn, that boy is good. Look up the highlights. Just look up the highlights. That's all I ever got. Just I want to talk about this shit no more. God, y'all, y'all, <laughs> here y'all go. Next time. How, how, next time. Hey, not, but, did y'all are some Luke Avengers. How is he a subject now? What, Omar, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, what, what that TikTok say, Omar? Yeah. R.I.P. that. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Hey, hey. What what were you gonna say, Rudy? Before we, we Uh, I was gonna say like talk about like all time rankings, like probably ten or twelve dudes have a case to be the goat or whatever. I think that the uh, the differences in talent or however you want to phrase it uh, between most NBA players in general is like way more narrow than most people give it credit for. Just being like, pe- at the end of the day, all the shit petty. I agree. Like I, I feel like on like an all time level, like you could do it probably not convincingly, but you could do it. You could make a case for fucking Allen Iverson being the best player of all time. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah, it, yeah. it wouldn't be convincing, but you could do it. And you could do the same thing in the NBA today, where dudes like Julius Randle one year are like <laughs> obviously not a top one hundred player, then all of a sudden make a couple tweaks to their game and become an MVP candidate. You know, like the level of talent in the NBA is as high as it's ever been by far and away. And that's why you got like dudes at the bottom of the barrel occasionally just like floating to the top, like seemingly uh, by just putting in a little bit of work, like Chris Middleton being 85% of what Kevin Durant is when he was once traded for scraps, you know, mm-hmm. it's just indicative of the m- amount of talent in the NBA. 95, you know? 95. Wait, wait, are you saying that? Oh, bro. Are you saying, oh, are you saying that Julius oh, Randle was a top, wasn't a top 100 player win like last year? Like the year before last year? Yeah, probably like not this year, but the previous year. Yeah. And, and to think this year he was better than Chris Bosch. That's crazy. Bro, stop. <laughs> stop. That's stop. crazy. Stop. That's a crazy stop. state. I, that's that's crazy, crazy, bro. That's, Chris Bosch. that's why I said next time. What are you going to think I'm a- no, Tom, is, please. Is Chris, Bo- is Chris Bosch top 100 all time? Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop. Stop. It depends stop. on where Julius Randle is. <laughs> <laughs> is Chris Bosch top 100 all time? Let's just move. Now. Just, you, know what, you know what's crazy? I, I'm not going to lie. I think that, that all time list came out in like 97 or something oh like God, that. Please. If we can say like 25 to 30 more guys have moved in to that oh top God. 50 list. Is Chris Bosch a part of that 30 that moved up, like, into oh, that? You know how many power fours? Is, so we're talking about Tim Duncan, KG, Dirk. Chris oh, Webber. It's, it's wild that they Webber. already put Chris Shaq Webber. on that list. <laughs> in like a Shaq, it was like Shaq's <laughs> third, fourth year. Yeah. Lead. You know what? Yeah, this is it. But I'm not going to lie. That's a, I mean, this is a, it's a conversation. Giannis is in there. If it's 25, yeah. so if it's 25, if we're adding 25, 30 players, five and six of them are power forwards, and we ain't even named Chris Bosch yet. We ain't go over to the next positions yet either. Eh, is he up there? There's a lot of point guards that need to be in there. Well, there's a lot of point guards. Jokic. Not that many centers. <laughs> it, it's a handful of centers. <laughs> if whether, that. Whether, yeah, I'm about to say centers. Y'all, that's, that's where y'all like it. Center, oh, y'all. we might have to do this one because that's. Because two or three. I would like, I guess, I guess where you would draw the line is like, he might be in this range. Like the Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Tracy McGrady, Chris Bosch. Yeah, out of those four players, just real quick, like who would be the best? The best, well, obviously not Paul Pierce. Definitely Probably. not Chris Bosh. Paul, yeah, yeah. I, that's I, the I, that's I, the question. I, Is it Chris Bosh? You name four people that I'm like, yeah, they're better than Chris Bosh. We we, we uh, can. Said, I, I don't know if y'all are down, but I think at some point in the summer we can do a pod like top fifty all time. That that'd be uh-huh. a good stream. I'd be it, down, but or do the next thirty. Do, do the next thirty. I was gonna say I don't even down. think it's about the fifty. Yeah, I want to keep the fifty wherever they Let's lie. The next they lie. Yeah. It's the next thirty. I the uh, next y'all are gonna piss me off. What do you? What do you, I'm kind of confused by what y'all mean by the next thirty. So like okay, so there's already an official top fifty list, right? Yeah. That we we keep that list. Whatever that list is from '97, whatever that list was made, we keep that. We just go from the year that list was made on. We add thirty players, like from, oh, the, from okay. ninety-eight mm. to 2022. Oh, they, they did that on um, and we start, and we um, start, open, open court, court. Yeah. open court. When they did ten, and you see how hard niggas had put Chris Bosh up there, and it was like, "Yo, Chris, gotta get off the list." Like niggas was having hard to do ten, and that shit was hilarious. Because so Hakeem wasn't Hakeem wasn't on that, was he? Yeah, he was in the top fifty. Yeah, if it was in '97, it'd have to be. He had already won two chips. Yeah, he I'm not gonna. Majority of Scott, his career. Right well, there. Scotty was okay. Scotty was in there. Too. Scotty was I, on it. Yeah, Scotty. I'd was have on to. It. I, 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 we, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. Real good. 
Jesus. All right. Yeah, um, Scott, that'd be lit, but I'm getting. Scotty was the second best player to play in the 90s, man. Oh, that's that's oh, yeah, wild when you think about it, too. Like gonna do something. Jordan played with the second best perimeter player of his era. Penny Hardaway? Oh, Anyways. Oh, um, oh, shout out oh, to the oh, two. Scotty was better than Penny, bro. 230 oh, in the oh, chat. Bro. Y'all, this I'm can't. So sorry this, for the sir, highest. Stuff so like thanks to me. You're welcome. Shout out to Rudy, guys. Shout out to Stuff like this can't be made possible. (laughs) Stuff like this can't be made possible without you guys as subscribers. Oh, fuck. Subscribe. Sage, get on them real quick. Just get on them real quick before you transition. Get on the ass. Oh, it's like niggas, niggas love to go out here, buy four for foes. Mm. Niggas love buying Shorty's Chick fil A, getting Mm. Polynesian sauce, spinning back. You forgot the Chick fil A sauce too. But (laughs) niggas forget to give us five. You kidding me, nigga? <laughs> like, like, you just really gotta sit there and think, bro. You, you, you talk about you gonna go to the five bags of Lay's in your cabinet, but you can't give me five dollars to tell your ugly ass to get in the gym. Get your priorities straight. Get, get mm. your priorities straight. That's wild. That, that's wild. Niggas talk about they fuck with music. We talk about the shit, analyze the shit. You want to get a pin? And they, and niggas, niggas gonna just casually watch them. Niggas would rather pay for cable to watch bum ass Kendrick Perkins and Ryan Holland spew takes. Oh my God, y'all won't, niggas, y'all won't niggas give us five dollars. Niggas pay a hundred a month. Pay a hundred a month you, for, you might as well get the bad on, takes on a discount. Oh, Come on, y'all, 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 y'all want a perk conversation? <laughs> hey, 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 Dom, Dom, give me a hot take right now. They want perk. My bad. They want perk. Go ahead, give me a conversation. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I don't got a hot take. That's crazy. Trey <laughs> Young, will, Trey Young will be a top five point guard next year. Top five, Dom. Top five. Are you crazy, Dom? Dom. 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 Top five. You gotta, Dom. And look, you gotta understand. Trey Young ain't anything. Darren Fox is. Dom. Darren Fox as a Sacramento Kings. <laughs> along with Coach Walton Luke was out there dropping 40 in game two and that shank he's a fucking moron you gotta you gotta, you gotta, you, well, you, gotta you gotta reach for a point guard that should definitely not be in the conversation I'm like gonna, gonna Shane Larkin he's not even <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even better than Theo Malioden he's not even Theo <laughs> Malioden <laughs> Crazy. I think he's like he's not even better than Cole Anthony. He's not even better than Dennis Smith Jr. The same Dennis Smith Jr. that was banging J. Cole and they the dunk contest. <laughs> so bit, bro. I, I would pay to see Ryan Hollins <laughs> and Kendrick Perkins in a one on one. Um oh my God. What yeah, debate or on the court? No, 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 on the court, on the court. It, it'd be a long oh, Jesus. That's even worse. It'd be a long game. A long That'd be worse game. than a debate. Could you imagine them just doing like jump hooks over their right shoulder? Oh, oh posting up, bro. <laughs> and posting up from the three point line. No. Yeah, posting up, checking it up from the three point line and working your way down every single and to do a, 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 a jump hook over your right shoulder to miss, to check the ball back up and let Ryan Hollins do it. They block each other eight times each and shoot so terrible. <laughs> That's oh nasty as fuck. Do y'all think at one point in Giannis's career, and this is kind of kind of random, but at one point in Giannis's career, he's gonna attempt to take a layup from the three point line, and just once. What? If he do that, he to go. Like we talk about, oh like God. lifting. I agree. Off. Ain't no funny if Giannis come out that motherfucking curry layup from the three point line. Because if that's an efficient shot for this nigga, I'm picturing a scenario. Y'all, this is how this motherfucker. Oh, like oh, pull up three. three. Hook a pull up no, 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 three. Not, no, 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 not clock winding down. Actually, on a fast break. On a fast. Yeah, break. just on a fast break. He's just like, oh, floor there, and this shit go butter. Oh no, bro. I picked up the ball at half court. What do I do? Step, step. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, yeah, he'd be the goat. He'd be the goat easily. Um, let's move on to the rumble in the jungle. The moment that a lot of people have been waiting for. We can get the subs in here at some point. Uh, <sighs> box mac and cheese. No, I'm playing. Last <laughs> week <laughs> oh, on oh. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, last week on on Wednesday. Um, was it on the pod? Had to go to a wedding. Shout out to my my friend Matt for getting married. Um, should you get married when you're young? Conversation for another day. The answer is no. But um, sorry, Matt. 
<laughs> Wait, define define young. Define young. What is young? Uh, he's not. He's not. LeBron waited till he was thirty five. I think. I think that's a good number. No, no, no. Thirty five. And respect for Matt, we're not going on a tangent for that. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, we're not going on a tangent. He said, said it's fine, Matt. And y'all was like, all right, but for real, though. No. Hell no. Nah. LeBron, LeBron waited till he was 35. Uh, I think Miguel waited till he was like, damn near 40. I don't know. That seems wait, like. LeBron, wait, okay, we can move on after, but LeBron wasn't married until he was 35? Yeah, they've been dating this whole time. What the fuck? I did not know I, that. I didn't know. That. I did not know that. They got engaged like two years ago. I want to say I'm terrible with celebrity. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh, no, it was so amazing because it was a whole high school sweetheart thing, and then he gets married in twenty, like seventeen or eighteen, to his high school sweetheart. I'm like, mm. interesting. Anyways, damn, okay. I never seen pictures of LeBron's wedding. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> look at, I mean, yeah, look at him. There's no like because he didn't get married. Okay. Anyway, I feel like that's a good time, but nevertheless. <laughs> Um, end of Wednesday spot, we get into a conversation about BLM and, uh, there were some talking points that I disagreed with. And we had a conversation within our own group chat, Rudy chimed in. So we felt like it was a, a good topic back up on the pod. I know a lot of the people in the chat had a lot of conversation about it as well. Um, so I guess we want to go from there gonna bother me real quick lebron wedding date damn you taking like notes for future I'm pods sorry, man. Hey. i'm sorry i'm sorry you're on a different man. level now man crazy crazy the okay so day contract 20, has been extended apparently it was 2013 <laughs> i don't know is that when he i guess the ceremony was 2013 okay so i take that back just a little bit later but if they've been dating since 2003 10, 10 years later yeah like 20 um yeah yeah, LeBron. That's, that's better. That's yeah. better. I, that's oh, why we I feel like LeBron just got like busy <laughs> being LeBron. It was like, oh shit, we never got married. Baby, <laughs> Ten year <I> anniversary. <laughs> um, Here we go. <laughs> but never, nevertheless, let's attack. Let's attack this thing head on. BLM not being a uh, a good organization. I, I disagree with this to some extent. I disagree with this to, to an extent. Now, now who said they're not a good organization? All right, let me say you don't fuck with the organization. You don't I don't fuck, fuck with, with what I don't. I fuck with what they. I fuck with the message. I just don't fuck with how they go about showing or go about. What's the word? I just don't fuck with how they go about. Omar, oh, back off. Right, right <laughs> <the stage here. laughs> nah, yeah, man. man. I don't know how I didn't go about trying to show the message or whatever it is. I'm trying to find the right words for like it, how they represent yeah. themselves. Yeah, I don't fuck with how they represent the message of Black Lives Matter. If that's the name of your organization, that's what you're trying to push. How they're going about it to me is bullshit, in my opinion. Like, there's more to the issues in the black community. Like, I'm not going to say unjust killing and police brutality. That's definitely on the list of things that's wrong, and we need to fix that. But that's not the only thing. And my problem is, if you go back to the George Floyd killings and Breonna Taylor's and all that, 70% of the people that was marching the streets ain't saying shit no more. They're quiet. They're, they're not worried about it no more. Because they're, when was the last time you heard about a cop killing somebody? That's not being pushed in the news no more, so people aren't giving a fuck. But every day, we're hearing our own people kill each other. We're hearing about celebrities being gunned down, regular people being gunned down, Massive amount of people, the violence in Chicago, Detroit, all the ghettos in the world. That's still a thing every day, but no one's speaking up. No one's going out to fight on a regular basis. There's nothing for that. But the moment a cop kills a black man, now kumbaya, we got to march. We got to fight. This is this is our time to do our best civil rights. Like, that's bullshit to me. And that was my point. Does Rudy have a notebook? You got a notebook for this, too? I what's the word i'm thinking of these motherfuckers got notes bro notes listen i was up till five last night but mm-hmm. so so to, to, so to attack that point what i would say um be a, the black lives matter organization has an about section and, and it shows what their organization is about like as a whole and mm-hmm. i have it right here highlighted the most important part 
um, organization founded in you know the U.S. or whatever global organization whose mission is to eradicate and build local power to intervene in violence inflicted on black communities by the state and vigilante. Omar, Omar, can you say like the beginning of that sentence? Yeah, because you yeah, cut you out. Cut out. Oh, I, so I know, I know what you were trying to say, but. Yeah. Okay. So the this is the this is the about section of the the Black Lives Matter um, organization, and the Black Lives Matter is a global foundation um, organization in the in the different states, the U.S., U.K., whose mission is to eradicate white supremacy and build local power to intervene in violence inflicted on Black communities by the state and vigilantes. So my my counter to what you would what you were saying, Damo, is that there are actually different organizations do um focus on you know gang violence uh, uh violence in the community crimes in the community there are a bunch of different organizations that they have different uh i guess chapters state by state different organizations state by state and i have links for all these things too mm-hmm. it's just that blm doesn't do those things somebody in one of my comments was saying it would be like going to a breast cancer thing and saying you know, well, why aren't y'all worried about other body issues and other diseases and everything? This is what we kind of specialize in. Now, if you want to say that the name is an issue, I, I mean, that's maybe. But those other groups have different names and they do those things that you're talking about. What's a vigilante? Is that only a white person? No, nah, vigilante is like, no, nah, a vigilante isn't a white person. It's the person who it tends to. And George Zimmerman, George Zimmerman is not a white person. So that, that's oh, a, a person vigilante. not of color. Is that a vigilante? Are, are you legitimately asking what the definition of vigilante is? Or I'm at, like in, in the context of what they define a vigilante, what's a vigilante? Gotcha. Someone who tries to, I mean, it, it'd be by definition what a vigilante is. Someone who tries to uh, enact justice on their own accord. Mm-hmm. So technically, I what don't George think it has, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, George, like George, George Zimmerman. Did. The people, I want to say it was probably in Georgia or somewhere down south where the black kid was jogging and yeah. the white dude thought, yeah, and the shot. Okay, like that. Gotcha. God, those I, they're idiots, but um, yeah. yeah, so that's that's what um, that's what BLM focuses on. There are other groups that do focus on other things, though. So. I do. I do mm-hmm. want to say just to chime in, I feel like and, and I might I might have reworded I might have worded this wrong on the last pod. But what I was trying to say on the last pod was I feel like BLM is such a big movement now. And again, I feel like a majority of the people that support the movement don't even go on the website and do what Omar did and look up like the about section and stuff like that. So I think a part of the problem is certain sectors of people who support this movement think this movement stands for different things. I feel like that's and correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I feel like that's a an, an issue when it comes to, you know, the movement and the organization, because it's such a massive um movement at this point it's become a charged up and political statement to be quite honest with you because then there's people that can't even separate the phrase itself versus the organization versus just like other things so at, at the end of the day if we're talking about the organization uh i think her last name is Pat- uh, patricia corals that organization it serves that purpose now these other organizations because i think there was another like fake organization that popped up uh, mid pandemic that was calling themselves black lives and like those those organizations have nothing to do but they do get intertwined and mm-hmm. a lot of these other you know if it's 10 kids outside screaming black lives matter they get lumped into the black lives matter organization they could be you know throwing at people stuff like that so that's what i'm saying like gets- charlie charlie d'amelio's profile picture right now is still the text black lives matter and this is like a year now and I, I, I just wonder if you asked her exactly what the movement stands for, if she'd say what you just said. She no, might no, say like she it's, would just say just it's for, for yeah, people. for general, you know, yeah, yeah. just yeah. yeah and that's I a, think the, the phrase BLM is like in general way more understood by like the most general population to just mean what it says and like to be a, a general movement, mm-hmm. uh, not so much to directly associated with like this one particular nonprofit organization yeah you know so I mean, and that's probably where my disconnect was because i like Biso said i i damn sure wasn't going on their website to look up the about section um i'm just going off of the countless marches and thousands of motherfuckers with black lives matter in their bios talking about what they're talking about and what they believe it is 
yeah, it's a lot of misinformation about it. If that's the case, and if the and again, if that's what the organization is for, if it's a specific movement, cool, kudos. I'm in the wrong for thinking that they should do more than what they intend to do. Some of those, some of those other organizations that I'm referring to, the Dovetail Project, um, mm-hmm. they help uh, young African American fathers uh, produce skills and and talk about the different inequalities and in, in communities and stuff like that. West Side Culture found Chicago Urban League, urban uh, initiatives, um, communities organizing family issues, future ties. There's a bunch of Blackstone Bikes. There's a bunch of different nonprofit organizations all across the, the U.S. that do promote uh, different nonviolent, I mean, not yet different alternatives for these different things. Um, they, they even do like gun collections in different communities and stuff like that. And with that also being said, they do march for people that die of color through different violences and um, uh, uh, different gang related activities and stuff like that. These things just aren't publicized because it's not the things that people click on. It's not the thing that charges up stuff like that. That's just not the case. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, of course, I, I you know, I, don't I was gonna know. say, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't uh, like, like, um, I didn't really participate much, but I don't want to act like a bot. All I'm gonna say is, uh, my whole, my whole thing, as I said last part, was, uh, I, I do, I do support the movement. I didn't know it was just that specific, and maybe that's the issue that it's, um, a misconception. I don't think it's necessarily like on purpose, but I think it's just grown to be so massive to the point where when you see BLM, that's what you basically just reading you're like okay that's what it means good shit and for it to not go to specific levels i see that's where you get people like dom where they're just like i don't fuck what they moving for yada 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 but if that's what they're specific for then obviously you see people like dom saying like they cool for them <laughs> but like um uh I, at the end of the day it is still validity to what dom initially said even moving away from that organization though it is kind of weird like we're so like we we as black people are kind of numb to it if it's us i find that a bit odd like if it's especially if it's regarding rappers or um even any sort of gang violence we're kind of just numb to it we're kind of just like oh well damn got caught bro rest in peace for that one day or two and then just back on whatever but we're not out here marching not out here doing xyz so i'm not saying i'm not saying like how do I say this? It's like it's some it's something there's caused the pause in the sense that there's more push for that as well. But it's certainly it's certainly not on the BLM organization. What they stand for is specifically police brutality and what else was it? I'm sorry, I'm Vigil- vigilanteism. Vigilante, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's if it's essentially Fake that, out. it's not on the organization. <laughs> but I'm still with the stance that as brothers and sisters, we got to tee up in the sense of look, man. One, we stop doing it to ourselves any fucking way. But two, and more importantly, if it does happen, you got you got to show people who aren't there. Not not like they have to see this so they're justified to not kill black people. Don't take me out of context. But in the sense of like that shit affects you because a lot of the times there's even motherfuckers who see that shit and you got weirdos that's laughing. Honestly, there, there there's popular guys like don't Sakashi don't Sakashi be laughing at shit. Don't fucking um, but he ain't black. But like, don't like, don't Sakashi be laughing at shit. Uh, some some of the gang members, obviously. If I forgot what the channel is, but it's a whole channel dedicated to like the violence and the rap game. Yeah, and they he, they be talking about some of them beefs or whatever. You God knows I ain't keeping up. Oh, the shit all. in Florida with uh, Fulio and fucking Young yeah, that, that's, that's exactly it. what the fuck I'm talking about. And yeah. they be like, they be snapping the shit, laughing or posting on lives and shit, laughing. Like it's weird that you that number. So it's that's why the only thing where I'm like, y'all got to tee up a little bit, but everything ain't perfect at the end of the day. Anybody who disagrees was like the whole BL, BLM organization to the entity of the message behind it and shit. I've already told those people, fuck off. Yeah, I guess you don't fuck with me. To, to that, I would say to that, I would say one, it's, it's your circle that doesn't necessarily uh, push those people. Ever since I've been to those markets back in uh, 2020. Being connected with some of the people, that, especially like that are in the NAACP in Atlanta. Yeah. I mean, they ride every day. Uh, they ride every single day of the week. The marches are there. That's what. That's another reason. 
say they're out there. Um, but this also leads me to my next talk. We're gonna be here. black on black crime is not real. That's not a real thing. That is a, a talking point of white supremacist Fox News pushing point. Black on black crime is just not oh. real. Oh, at all. what? Well, that's interesting. It's just I crime. Do. Yeah, it's crime. I, yeah, I thank you. Okay, we agree. We all agree. Thank you. All right. Honestly, that's the shortest starting point of the day. I was gonna say that's not in the in the raw sentence, and that's that's what people are gonna be attacking. What? Oh my god, what you say? Sage, what were you just talking about? Like, uh, that that's facts. It's not black on black crime, nigga. It's crime. Like but we shouldn't be doing white it on white ourselves. crime. That's the problem. But, but as a minority, and that and that's where I'm with Dom still, and that's where I don't get that though. You do crime by proximity. They don't do it like a robber doesn't rob somebody because he's black. He robs somebody because that's who he's in proximity with. So it it also wouldn't stop him because they're black either. Like he shouldn't be like, damn man, I I need to eat, but I'm gonna stop robbing you because you're black. He needs to eat. He should. That's what it should get to. At at that point, you Uh, stop robbing uh, your neighbor. Rob the if you're gonna rob, rob the niggas across town. Don't rob. I can't get across town. I need to rob somebody. I mean, but the problem <laughs> is, the, the problem is, that'd be a funny walk. conversation. But no, I'm not gonna lie to but the problem is, <laughs> but the problem is with a lot of this, with a lot of crime and like a lot of these instances, like the shit I brought up. Yes, it's not. Oh man, I'm about to go at him just because he's black. But a lot of this shit is just spite and hate towards someone successful. Like, yeah, that, that, you might hate. not, you might not think I'm about to rob XXX Tasha because he's black. But he's a successful black man. Why are you don't don't rob him? Like, stop. It should get to a point to where we look and be like, you know what? Even though I'm down bad, let me not hurt my brother. Like, I wanted to get to a point to where there's no like niggas don't need to rob anybody or don't need to harm anybody. That's really what it should be. You shouldn't be out here hurting anybody. But for us to survive and for us to prosper and for us to actually move forward as a race, because you look at any other minorities they're way more together than the black community uh, this, I, 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 omar correct me if i'm wrong when, I, when I say I this when you I'm when you brought up far. the x situation I can't, I can't buy that one when you when you brought up the x situation i think what omar's trying to say is i don't think that whole situation was caused because x was black right? i didn't say it was because he's black i said he but i said i said i know it wasn't because he's black but he is a successful black man i'm not saying okay. they robbed him because he's a and, successful black man, I, he, they rob because he's successful. He yeah, just, just, just because be he's successful. successful that, that's man. what I was trying to yeah, say. Yeah, but he happened to be a successful black man. We still I, have to stop doing this to each other, regardless. Like I understand it's crime, but you still need to be able to look and be like, "This is my brother." Like I don't need to. We don't need to be even if even if it's not robbing. Take away robbing, killing a motherfucker over some op shit. That's. That that's stupid. That's that's definitely a line motherfuckers need to really think about. That's brief comment. Brief comment. I just want to say I'm not a hundred percent. I I see what Omar said, and they actually thinking that's a very interesting. In fact, I damn near say valid. But I do want to say, in terms of the robbery thing, because he's black, whatever. I think there is a certain extent to where you got to understand. My biggest thing is self awareness. You got to understand who black people are in this country. We know what that answer is. And as a result, we have to be aware of, let's even stick with the X example. This is a dude putting on for our race, essentially. He has a lot going on. The last thing that other people need to see, especially the people that have all those fucking anyway, is for another black man to gun him down. And that's the last thing that we need to be doing. That's where I'm like, okay, fair enough. But at the same time, you're right in the sense of robbery is robbery. Black on black crime is essentially crime. That that is correct. I, I have no. There's no even response. And and all that would make sense if if a if a robber was introspective enough to to think that way and you know had food and everything on his table and didn't have needs to be fulfilled. I, the real the real conversation is about changing. You know the systems that put them in situations to exactly. have to rob. Like, why, why, are, they, they, why are you robbed? You got to ask, why, the question why is, we, have to rob? why do you commit the crime? And nine times out of ten, it's not just because I hate this end, because I'm in a bad situation and I need to, I, I might stun a little bit on the gram, but you best believe I'm going to go sell that 
ju- that piece of jewelry, that 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 watch, that you know, all this other stuff, so I can eat later on. At the end of the day, that that won't be. Um, I just don't. Uh, um, the whole respect. There was a respect comment that was a little wild about. Uh, dang, what was it about? Oh, about how can we expect the police to not kill us if we're not out here respecting ourselves? And there might have been a wording issue in that one, but that was like, yeah, that 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 didn't come from me. I don't. That was wild. I said that. Yeah, that was wild, Damo. That was wild. How can you expect them? How can you expect another race or expect someone to power or expect an officer to look at us as anything other than what we treat ourselves? If how they look at it, because they don't look at it as just crime. They look at it as black on black crime. That's how they look at it. And if they see it as we kill each other all the time, we do this to each other all the time, to a nigga in power, and all these cops are just people with a little bit more power. You know what power does to man. If they get to a point in their mind where they're like, ah, oh, man, if if this whole fucking community of people can't respect each other, why the fuck do I got to respect them? Being, being more yeah, respectable. I remember my comment. Oh, I remember my comment. I was like, I was like, that's that's right in the sense of you can't have you can't have a situation where a racist a racist white male or woman is seeing that and they're like, oh, well, see, they do it anyway, type shit. But at the same time, there's no justification under any circumstance. That's why I wasn't hundred percent on board with it at the time, and I'm still not. He, there's no situation ever where that's just okay because of of uh, essential. I'm not saying it's okay. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying and by the yeah. way, yeah, because because we know we had that one weirdo in the last spot. No, not saying Dom is saying it's okay. But I'm saying, like, it's in my opinion, I can't go that far. But I do understand what he's saying because I can't go to the extent that, um, oh well, we do it, so therefore it's something that's just common in that thing. Like, especially if your whole thing is to serve and protect. And- yeah, those those agents of the state, no matter what the justification is, I, I, again, I don't think respectable. They've killed people who are respectable, quote unquote, um, and that also they live in different neighborhoods that are full of just respectable people, low crime areas, and they still murder. So it's not about being respectable. It's about, you know, the perpetuation of like prejudices and, and racist, racist mindsets and everything like that, that keep these police or even other entities um, okay with killing people. Um, it doesn't, you can't, you can't go out. They're going to stop and ask you like, are you a doc? Are you a doc? Do you have a good record? They're not they're not interested in that. And then also they're not thinking in their minds, oh, you know, those blacks in X town in Texas, 50, 100 miles away, they were doing this. So this guy right here, this is my perception. Of him. it's just it's a but it's that's a how it is. Mindset. That, that, that is how it is with with people that but again, what I'm saying is, take away, take away just from cops. There are legit people across this country that look at black people like that. Like there's people who look at us like that, like, oh man, y'all kill each other all the time. So why, why is it so crazy if this happens? That's a perception amongst people. And if that's a perception amongst normal average people, all cops are normal average people with a fucking badge. So there's a good, there's a percentage. I'm not saying a majority of cops. I don't know the percentage, but there is a percentage of cops that look at us that way. But again, and even if you do, and, and again, cool, maybe and not, not saying maybe yes, it is definitely more to, them not doing anything to us outside of respect. But at the end of the day, regardless, we need to respect ourselves as a community more. Like, fuck if it's about police killing us, whatever the fuck it's about. We still need to respect each other more. Like, I don't don't care what the conversation is. I don't care what it boils down to. At the end of the day, me see another black man, see another black man, see another black man, we have to have a level of respect for each other to not do certain things. No matter if it's Petty robbery. No matter if it's riding out on an op because this nigga dissed me on the gram. It don't matter what it is. We need to respect each other to uplift uplift us. Like that, I, I'm just, I'll die on that hill. That's just what I believe. Again, I don't think the respectability thing is the issue. One, whites do, whites murder each other on a, a proportionate rate as blacks. Like it's, there, there's no, there's really no difference virtually. So it's not about, okay, they don't respect each other then we would be killing these people. And mind you, uh, I think it's by total, they kill more whites as well. Um, but all in all, it's, it's not about a respectability thing. 
there's been time periods where these cases about riding on ops and all these other things, killing folks for the gram weren't the case. Um, you know, mm-hmm. 20s, uh, not 20, yeah, well, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, like all these, these, these things weren't the case and they were still killing and murdering during, um, black during people. Jim Crow segregation coming straight off of slavery when they literally had no respect for us as people back then. They didn't. I mean, what, they haven't gained any respect and then relost it in any in any sense of the word. So again, I, and it would have to be a, as to why are these things happening, crime wise in these black communities to understand why. But I, how you gauge how black people respect each other across the nation is a little wild over anecdotal experience that we see on a bubbled internet that we are in. Um, I just don't think that that's like necessarily like a big issue. I think the biggest that the actual issue is that there are people who have power uh, and that are agents of the state that abuse that power. Um, and there's no logical justification um, at all. And then even if we, if we want to talk about people respecting each other more, I don't know what, what metric you're gauging. I don't know what you're seeing or whatever outside of the anecdotal experiences that we see online. I just don't get that. I don't yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't go to the extent where uh where uh, the previous comment was like um the black people don't like have the same brother and respect as others and I I, I ain't gonna lie I can't go there because I, I do I do think black people definitely are one thing about that is if a brother or sister is done wrong oh yeah you hearing about that shit I ain't gonna go lie to you you hearing about that shit. I got but I can say and I do, I don't want any con- confusion with these words. There's always a chance for obviously everybody, let alone black people as a unit. And that's my whole thing. I'm always wanting improvement in a situation where we vastly improved from where we were, where we were literally counted as three fifths of a human. So now we're at the point where that was crazy. So now we're at the point where we're starting to sometimes represent the country, whether it's sports, culture, any of these things. And the last thing that I want to see my people doing is shutting down those people. So that's where I'm like, okay, we can do better with that because they're going to think whatever they want regardless. If we're concerning ourselves about evil people, let's just keep it 100, just evil, misconstrued, can't change them as people, you're going to be here forever. But what you could do is make sure that you are essentially at your peak all the time and doing the best you can for each other at all times. And the, uh, the total opposite of that is gunning down people who are changing the world or just shutting a brother down because, hey, man, a couple years ago, you fucked my bitch. Like, like that, that shit crazy, bro. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, we could always do better, but it's, it's still, even in the situation, even in the conditions we have right now, honestly, I would argue it's at one of the higher highs than it, uh, than it would be at lows. Nah, brotherhood, brotherhood is the word. I ain't gonna lie. We we already intact. We already on time, and the world already knows that. But we can still always get better. That's my whole situation. That's my whole take on situation. I do want to say before we move forward, one shout out to the 183 in the chat. I know the numbers went down, but for the new people who are like just finding out about this pod, this pod is not just a basketball podcast. Mm-hmm. I know we talk about basketball a lot because all of our interests, you know, that's the baseline of the conversations. But we talk. Mm-hmm. We talk more about basketball. We'll, we'll get into some Naruto talk at the end of the pod, probably. Yeah, I did tweet that. I don't want. I was gonna say I did tweet that. I don't want to clickbait. I was typing. No, no, no. We gonna we gonna get to yeah. it. Um, Rudy, Rudy, you want to take over the peaceful protest part? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because that that was one thing where when I was watching it back earlier today, uh, where I found myself agreeing like halfway with one thing you said, Dom, and that was that like peaceful protests don't work, and that is because peaceful protests themselves don't work uh, because they need to incite other people to not be peaceful in order to be effective. So like they do work and they don't work. Like they, they work by failing. They, they, yeah, they, it's, I get it. So you're basically saying, uh, I mean, I appreciate it. But basically yeah, saying, I mean, I get what saying, shit yeah. don't work. Yeah, the shit don't work to the point where a motherfucker like, let me show you what do work. <laughs> and he just start mm-hmm. wilding this shit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, and then just like one, like, like it's a very minute factual thing, in my opinion, relative to the rest of the scope of this conversation. Uh, but the idea that like nothing changed until Martin Luther King got shot is like just 
unequivocally false because the civil rights movement or the civil rights act excuse me passed prior to his death like several years prior and the u.s government itself only assassinated martin luther king when he started preaching about economic equality and mm-hmm. things that would solve a lot of um what some people call cultural issues among black america um we talk about you know like let's not cut down each other we need to be more respectful towards each other um that sort of rhetoric works for white supremacist talking points because it perpetuates this idea that there's like this innate quality to blackness that breeds criminality for whatever reason which is just racism with extra steps right Mm -hmm. um so when you talk about like black on black crime it's like even in the parts where like you're factually correct it's still perpetuating this idea uh in the subtext which even if you don't mean yourself is still like being interpreted out there by all the racists and the potential racists out there and spreading these um what i tend to call fascist ideas um you know so. i I'd, I'd, I'd add on to that though that it wasn't even it wasn't even necessarily the um the talking points about uh black economic liberation that that got him murdered it was the black and white economic economic liberation that got him murdered um with with him talking about you know garbage men in the south uh need to earn more as a whole and what he was right. trying to do because what it, an, an agent of white supremacy is poor whites poor whites will always suppress black people as a whole because if they can feel like they're at least above the blacks then they are not at the bottom but if you have blacks and poor whites working as a unit then that becomes a problem um mm. so that to be honest with you that's what really got him oh we got to get this mofo out of yeah, here just, thing. but yeah just like economic liberation in general um really gets at like the heart of these sorts of problems at like the most systematic core level it's all just meant to perpetuate capitalism right like some historians believe that like at the origin of capitalism there was racism before it and capitalism was used to monetize and justify racism and you have other people who think that capitalism uh you know created the racism that we see today uh i'm more of the latter personally um but even if it is the former i think by today's standards people are more interested in making money at like the powerful level like the you know the one percent of the one percent of the one percent uh you know than they are in just being racist um so put pinning us against each other is just another way to prevent us from coming together and seeking collective revolution you know like if we would overturn the system and all just collectively agree that money doesn't have any value anymore suddenly the powerful people in, on earth would not have power in theory or yeah you know and that's that, a, that's that a class requires so much more this, this right, summer yeah. and i I thought like growing up, going through the high school system, it was this great thing, you know what I'm saying? Freedom and all that shit. But after taking that class, bro, it it and it's really rare for like college classes to really hit me like that. Capitalism ain't it is not all sunshine and rainbows, but right? capitalism no, is no. the worst. I'm not gonna hold yeah, you. No, like, I'm <laughs> gonna say it. anti-capitalism. I'm just gonna laugh at him. What would y'all rather have? <laughs> huh? What would y'all rather have? I mean, socialism, nobody's experienced true communism, in my opinion. Nobody's experienced true socialism either. Um, Even we, something dead simple, like the Nordic model is better, which is still fucking capitalism, but like we have slightly more human rights, you know? Yeah. All that works. Uh, everything that we've seen, too, when, when people get into those talking points about like socialism, that's all those things with capitalist intervention or, you know, Western intervention that does end up messing these other uh attempts at like economic you know states that that just fuck the whole thing up to be quite honest with you. um I like that saying it, at the end of the day ain't no system perfect but if anybody think capitalist was like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, yeah it definitely not, got not its pros like i'm not yeah like yeah not, I, not, i've benefited that's, that's off of it but i'm just saying it is definitely not all sunshine and rainbows for the people who who think it is. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah, that yeah. So Beast is a capitalist. Um no. also <laughs> to address Wording's false <laughs> Wording's false accusation about the, the Black Lives Matter founders money from that has been debunked. 
Um, the boss, yeah, he said. You. Yeah, okay. he said. He he said he was wrong on that one. Okay. He already said he was wrong on that one. Okay. Uh, I just want to put that out there. Yeah, was it? I was just. Yeah, I was, yeah, that's why my whole precedent was if that happened because I was like. No shit. Indie bomb. Yeah, he said yeah, he was wrong. But Sage was trying yeah. to respond. It was like, oh, uh, if it's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was, I was trying like I, I wasn't on no PC shit, but I was like, bro, I don't know. Uh, where'd you, where'd you, you know, get this info from? <laughs> I was like, if it's true, that's crazy. But crazy, yeah. you know. But you, when you start getting popping, they'll make up. So yeah, it just it had to be done. Right, that's good. That's good. That's yeah. good. Um, and then the last thing, this one, this one's gonna be probably the one that don't agree with me at all. Um, but it is what it is. Blacks by definition cannot. You cut out. You cut out. I'm glad you cut out. I know. I know. I know you said it, but blacks by definition cannot be racist. Yeah, oh, fuck out of here. Blacks by definition cannot be racist, and I think I think the problem is people don't understand what the definition of. Chat, hold on. Oh, fuck and maybe that's why I think people think that racism means just having feelings about one race because they are a race, like having feeling being influenced by race and your opinions about the world. Like a lot of people what? interpret racism that way. What's racism? Uh, racism is like a macro level system that is used to, you know, oppress people of color and uphold white supremacy. So when black people say something that is prejudiced towards like another race or even black people themselves, themselves you know, they're not participating in racism in theory. It's more so just like a personal prejudice because there's no way that they could cogently act against themselves. You know, you're not going to oppress yourself on purpose. So what, let me ask, which definition is that? That's the definition. Racism. Is that the, are you sure? Racism, racism by the definition from any academic historic standpoint. Now there's other ra- there's other definitions from dictionaries that pop up on the internet and people that talk on Twitter. Definition mm-hmm. of racism is prejudice plus the use and abuse of power. Um, and that's throughout, but there's other people like make up other definitions. So yeah. does the I- Hold on chat. I thought know. definitions. Hold on, hold on, my, my shit's lagging a little. Mid-key, mid-key, we're saying mid-key, Oxford, Okay, so what's who who has a good wait, definition? Wait, 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 wait. Who, who do we, we trust with definitions? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Oh. It just it, it just lagged for like two times, but I think we're good. Whose definition do we do we trust? It just depends on like the context you're trying to work within, right? Like if you're just speaking colloquially with your friends, you know, probably doesn't really matter as long as both of you are on the same page. But on like a mass scale mm-hmm. like this, or we're you know broadcasting, it's it's important that we just establish what it means you know just so people can understand what we're saying and i think for for our purposes i think the most useful definition would be you know prejudice plus power like omar was saying because that's that's how it tends to work most effectively and mind you that's from every like academic not i'm trying to sell books for profit type uh definition that that's from a um academic um uh, a governmental perspective as well like are you are you saying black people can't be racist to just black people or like can't be racist at all period at all he's at he's all now that. now if you want to you can get into the like the real detailed um conversations about now this would be a, a talking point for debate if i am a black owner of a black I, I have power over this black business that I own. So if it's like it's a taco stand or something, or a store that sells tacos. I, I'm, I, obviously, I want tacos. But I can then work within the power that I have as owner of this business in order to oppress other races. And then, you know, we can have a conversation. Taco stand owner is a uh, racist. However, we're talking about, like Rudy said, in the macro sense, the government as a whole. Uh, there's no blacks that have power that uh, could then oppress others, and that just do- it doesn't happen. There's no, there's no proof in it. Again, what you talk, what people refer to when they say those points is like personal prejudices that uh, people hold, and everybody holds personal prejudices against you know, you know, a plethora of people. However, for to say like the blacks can be racist is just like that's false by definition. That's false. Uh, I- I- What's going on is if we are to you i guess um 
my personal opinion, it really is possible. Um, in good in society, you can definitely have the brothers. They ain't for the brothers. You can have There's prejudice. The you get yeah yeah yeah. I'm a, I'm aware I'm aware of the situation. Sage, you've been cutting out a lot. Yeah, I'm cutting out. Yeah, it's your turn. I'm aware of the situation. <laughs> I'm the fuck? Hold on, hold on. What the what the hell? I'm not a. <laughs> Yo, someone my whole favor. my whole problem with the whole racism is based off power thing is, and this is just my personal experience with it. I haven't heard niggas say this until they got to college and took a college class and had a college professor tell them this. Like right. all my it's friends... Because high school education ain't shit. It's meant to perpetuate white supremacy. That's fine. That, that's fine. That's fine. But even with even with my <laughs> grandparents who... Even with my grandparents who marched and were a part of civil, civil justice type of movements and stuff like that, they define racism as the same thing we were taught that racism is and what they believe racism was and what they fought against and stuff like that. And what they taught to my parents and me and shit like that. I just never understood when the divide came to where we were like, race is no longer. Well, again, I get it. It's prejudice and racism. A lot of people, I guess, group what prejudice is being prejudiced. They group that with being racist. Am I I For honestly sure. thought, I, and, I, and leading up to this point, I thought those two terms were pretty much synonymous. Were, yeah, I thought it was a hand in hand type of thing. I, that's what I figured it as. Um, yeah, and, and, and that's perfectly normal. I think that's most people, honestly. I think we're just at a time in history where we're coming to be aware enough of our past and how these systems work and everything else to where the window is is being pushed in such a way. Well, like, have you all ever heard of like the Overton window? It's a political concept. It's basically like the acceptable range of ideas within a political spectrum in a culture is the mm. Overton window. I think the Overton window within the concept of like what is racism is shifting a lot right now to focus more on that power and less on that personal prejudice. It's more about collective responsibility than personal responsibility. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. Well, before my shit was fucked. All I'm going to say is I don't know what the technicality is. Um, personally, uh, obviously, I, be, I believe we at least all know there's um, there's prejudices, if that's what we're using, um, in the sense of there's people that just discriminate, treat others different in this country, that we all know that. That's everybody, every race, every everybody does it to a certain degree. Not I, but, you know, like, like there's a there's, uh, race. But, um... So, Brown became the power? It's... Yeah, yeah, not, I was not, yeah, not I was white supremacist say, society. Yeah, yeah, I was going to I was going to say so are you guys basically that there is that black people are not exactly powerless but not in power so they can't be like on I, a I'm, systemic, I'm, good. On a like, I'm, try, I'm trying to power. figure out the te- I'm trying to figure out the technicality that y'all are going at cuz I I I not, honestly, and it's, to be honest okay. with you it's not even a technicality like on a systemic level no and in a white patriarchy no Black so people. what? So what? What? What is power to you? What? What defines power? Say, what is the so level of power? Wasn't, wasn't Barack Obama at one point in time like the chief of our country? White supremacist talking point. Fox News talking point. And I'm pointing. I'm just pointing it out. Um, just because we have like somebody that's a figurehead doesn't a necessarily mean that. Doesn't necessarily mean that uh, they are a person in power who can then do it. Because again. You can, you would say, well, at that point, a, a a good thing is a black cop when we know for a fact black aren't necessarily a good thing because they're just working within a system that is already racist. So I would I then say Barack probably. Obama is is a is a black person working within a system that still upholds white supremacy, and therefore no. I guess so I don't know power? power is then. I'm not saying so. So no, no, no. I don't even know. Rudy Omar, what's me. power? What's yeah, a position I'm about of say, power? President's supposed to be like, and, and and like honestly, and I hate to sound if if I'm just sounding like a ooga booga informative ass motherfucker, bit, but <laughs> I could have, I could have like swore, that. <laughs> I could have swore being a president is essentially like not the absolute because there's checks and balances, no shit, but you you're pretty powerful, <laughs> you're pretty you're pretty powerful uh, in America at least. If I if that's not by all means, go ahead, educate me. I'm down to listen, research it. If I feel like you're jiving some bullshit, 
but the flow is yours because I guess I don't know power. But also, also just to add on, like, powerful. what about um, like a person like LeBron who has a lot of influence? Like, does that exactly. and a that lot too. of financial um power? I'm I'm here to learn as well. I'm, I'm I, I, I want to know what power if, is. If, 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 I'm I, if, if I'm just wrong, chat. If I if I'm wrong, yeah, if I'm let wrong, me know. I'm, but I'll say it. I I I, 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 I thought I knew. I thought I knew. So flow is yours. Flow is yours. I'm listening. Lead you, Omar, sure. would you like to lead? Oh, no, go, go ahead. Okay, Look, word. So, like, what is and is not power is, like, a super heady and philosophical conversation, right? Like, we could be here for eons and never arrive at a cogent definition, right? But, like, while, while we try, I think one of the most critical aspects in today's society to define power is just straight up money. Like, money is power. You can't argue that if you have X amount of dollars, you can't make Y amount of people do Z things, you know, like it, you just can't, you're capable of doing that with money. That is power. Um, power also exists within structures. The structure that we're within is one with hierarchy. Um, hierarchy obviously ranks people above others, gives some people more power over some other people. Um, the one we have now has a certain hierarchy. Um, less obviously about race is similar levels about you know gender um but most obviously comes back to money right you have the most ruling class who are the most economically ab abundant if you will um but but then you have the the rest of us who generate all the value for them by being the cogs in their co capitalist machine right and we stay cogs and we don't take back the power to bring up more equality um, by doing things like going to work every day uh, without questioning it, by doing things like um, uh, going into debt to get an education about a specialized field. Uh, we, we, do, we do it by, you know, hating our wives, by, by hating uh, other people's races. We just perpetuate this system of power, which comes with oppression from the hierarchy of, of modern society by just being in it every day. So it would take revolutionary policies to be able to escape these sorts of power dynamics and simply just being a president who is black or being a cop who is black is just not enough to just end the the injustices that exist within the system. Yeah, nobody was implying that. No, no, nobody with common sense would imply that. Right. But, but if you, but you but, ask like, racists who watch Fox News, like they'll they will tell you like, oh, but yeah, Obama was president. For I'm not saying well, of course they would. Yeah. yeah like, also, this says that yeah. Obama could just be like an outlier type shit. Like I'm about we're, to say, we're looking at the whole norm. I'm about to say one one oh, I'll say one on top of that. Let's say I eat thought that which again i didn't nobody with common sense would you could you could then say well there's been 40 what was it 47 now 46 47 whatever the fuck we want sorry i took so many shots <laughs> <laughs> um, nah but like there's been a lot of presidents we got one like nah nigga I, i'll be but i'm talking about in the sense of if you don't have power in the sense of at all i'm talking about absolute like zero like the president having zero power essentially because if if the statement initial statement is black people can't be racist because they don't have the authority and they're essentially powerless and one and there has been situations where there are black officers let alone black people in court systems let alone one even becoming the president of the United States my whole question was so is a president essentially powerless where I would say the obvious answer is no, but if we're implying that the president is essentially powerless unless he is white, floor is yours, educate me. But I disagree with that sentiment. I think Obama had quite a lot of power. Now, whether I'm giving him all of it, hell no. Are you kidding me? The legislative branch, in my opinion, is the most powerful. The um, judicial branch is often over several, several, several times. They had a lot of shit going on. And if unless I'm mistaken, both were Republican while Obama was just simply um, the only Democrat. Yeah, right, yeah. So that's right. Yeah. Essentially, it was a two on one the entire time. And we're in a system of checks and balances. Obama can't override the entire government. Can't do that. So mm -hmm. that's, that's just fifth grade social studies, my boy. So like, you, you can't fucking do that. So I'm not saying he was just out there doing X, Y. 
But if we're implying that black people can't be racist because they don't have authority, X, Y, and Z, and Obama was the president, to say it was powerless would be the only way that you could justify that. Because in that case, if I'm not saying Obama's racist, by the way, but if someone, if a black person became president again and they had all them prejudices and shit, at that point, wouldn't they be a racist black person? Or am I tripping? Then if I'm tripping, again, let me know. But I still, I still hey, don't. Real, real quick, I'm gonna have to dip off because I gotta get ready to head to work. Um, def, yeah, it, it's getting up there. Yeah, definitely insightful conversation. I definitely see why I was wrong. Uh, really wish I could stay longer for the black can't be racist conversation because I just think that's false, regardless of how you put it or how you want to look at it. I just don't agree. But that's just me. I'll be the ooga booga of the panel. That's just how it is. I'll be the ooga booga. I don't know nobody else. Stop saying that shit, bro. Yo, I'll be the ooga booga, bro. (laughs) But, yo, love y'all, man. Follow me. Follow the kid on all the platforms. Uh, I'll catch y'all. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Don. And and we don't have to uh, super continue onto the conversation. But, again, like I said, there's like different there's different levels to the whole thing. But ultimately, if we're saying this black person that does have powers to some degree, because me being a manager at the Circle K, I have some type of power over my uh, uh, gas station. Like power only exists in context, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. LeBron James has a lot of power on the basketball court. Of course, in context. Of course, in context. He has, yeah, he has power on the basketball court. But then we're talking about him versus like the NBA owners or something like that, then what power does LeBron really have? We would say he's like the lowest man on that. Hey, can why, I, why, can why? I interject just like a, like a little tangent here yeah. that like I think is a, you know, relevant, but also interesting. Um, there's this notion of like, there's no ethical billionaire, right? Which I believe in, you know, I don't think that the billionaire class should exist. Like just put an arbitrary cap on it. Sure. Why not? Um, but LeBron James, like if there was going to be a self-made billionaire, LeBron James seems like the case, right? Do you think that LeBron James is like pull at like the sources of his income, like Nike and stuff like that? Uh, like, do you think he holds enough power to try to advocate for like more ethical practices to so where he could seem like he could avoid all scrutiny as a billionaire? Like, could he go to Nike and be like, "Hey, don't have sweatshops, please," or I'll advocate against you and break my contract and lose some money, but you know, maybe find it in some other places. You know, like does LeBron have that kind of pull, or is it is like? Are you are so that, you're asking if he has that pull? I feel like if, he does have yeah. that pull. I'm about to say, well, I, I don't like know. That's if you're also bad. kind of asking if it's his responsibility because yeah, he has I guess pull both. Like I guess I'm I, asking I both. You, like, can I he? Because if he can, then he should, right? And if he sh- he should, then he should. I tell <laughs> I tell you I tell y'all that the answer is no. Phil Knight and the rest of the Nike staff would look at him and say, "Look, if you you can break this lifetime contract." What we will make in the next five years based off of our other things that we have going on will well supersede us taking those those uh, jobs out of sweatshops and placing them in America where we would our profit margin would decrease by probably like three times. Like that's just they would tell him no. So then that would be the question, like, does LeBron what power does LeBron have? Right. He might be able to get a trade or two done on his team. Of course, he might be able to get a coach fired. Like, that's cool. But then, like Rudy just said, if he goes to Nike and says, hey, your practice is take those sweatshops out of China, put those jobs or in these these East Asian countries, take those jobs, put them in the United States or I'll talk bad about you. I can tell you right now, Phil Knight will look at him and says, make these Nike dunks for for all of 30 cents. And make them, you know, put them in America and make them now for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 dollars or lose LeBron James. We will lose LeBron James. They would do that every single day. That's what I'm inclined to think as well. I don't I don't think LeBron has enough pull to to change the world like that. That's why I don't think that he you see him. Was it two years ago now with the whole China thing in Hong Kong? Uh, you know, well, that's, they be, yeah, they be holding that against him, bro. <laughs> yeah, God they damn, they yeah. ain't forget. They ain't ever gonna let you. So, but that's 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 the similar situation with like Barack Obama. You have power to a certain degree because, right? You, you know, you're this this stature of person, and it's it's within this certain scope. But if we look at the grand scheme of things, what power do you truly have? 
Um, and it's it's a big concept. Like Rudy said, we could talk about power. Yeah. But ultimately, when we're comparing it to the white supremacist state that the United States and quite frankly, the world is in, no, blacks can't hold that level of power. Um, and therefore, they cannot be racist because that's that's what the definition of racist racism holds within it. Again, sure, if I Omar have Omar's taco stand, I can use and abuse my power within the taco in order to, you know, hire blacks versus non-blacks. Sure. That's a different conversation than what I'm talking about. Right? And therefore, blacks can't be racist. They can't prejudice. I, I, think, I think if we wanted to use, like, yeah. a little bit of, like, a, like, what they do in, like, philosophy and stuff to make a distinction uh, when there is, like, a significant difference, but the concept is still, like, super, super close, they'll, they'll talk about, like, lowercase first letter versus uppercase first letter versions of the word so i think the middle ground here that like even dom would likely agree with you know he can tell me if he disagrees later on i guess but like the statement that black people can't be racist with a capital r implying power is absolutely accurate but the statement that black people can't be racist with a lowercase r removing power probably also accurate to a degree when you're just talking about racial prejudice, you know, I get hey, all I'm going to say, because I, I feel personally, I ain't going to cap. I feel like we've been going at this for a minute. I'm going to just say mm -hmm. agree to disagree. Um, I my whole thing is I just a hey, by all means, I still I still like just don't really I understand what y'all saying now. I ain't going to bullshit. I do, but I just don't necessarily agree with it. And I don't like the message that that somewhat implies, man, because like. Just, just the raw statement of black people can't be racist. If that was just it's what very provocative, that that yeah, I I don't like that message. I like, I'm just keep it a whole. I I don't like how that can be perceived, can be portrayed. How one can receive this information, maybe not grasp it to the degree that a Rudy or Omar or even a me or a B Souls is, and just be like, oh, well, black people can't. I don't like that message. So I'm I'm just keeping it on it. I just I I can't I can't agree with it. But by all means, if it's either due to uneducation, uh, ignorance, whatever fuck y'all want to turn it to, or we just straight up just to just hundred percent disagree, want to agree, power to you. But I just I can't buy into that. I can't buy into it. I'm sorry. I, I do want I do want to believe that like this whole conversation and this whole podcast is has been really constructive, and it would have been it could have been easy for us to just hop on here and like yell at each other. But the fact that like we have disagreeing ideas and we can hop on and have like a cordial conversation about it, I think I think that's to be commended for. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think that's like the job of adjective propaganda. Like you know, like that's like it. It is uncomfortable to hear statements that are like at first deeply disagreeable, but then after like a half hour conversation, you can arrive at like you know I still disagree, but I do understand. Like that's a hard thing to to go yeah, through and process, yeah, yeah, but like it's, it's always it's worthwhile. Not, it's not me not listening, motherfucker. It's just I hear you. It's just like, you know, I can't hop on that shit. But I see what y'all coming from. Yeah, I see yeah. what I'm saying. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna ask y'all, but I'm pretty sure I know the answer. Do y'all want to take two subscriber questions? Uh, yeah, it is eleven. But yeah, yeah, we we can wrap it up soon. Yeah, we can do the Q and A. We can just do I'll the take a couple. All right, take two, real quick. You know it can be whatever. But if you're a sub, go ahead. I'm let us know if you, if you if you if you aren't broke, you are locked. <laughs> broke shit. Bro. Yo, shout out to the 155 in your man. Still, shout out to y'all, man. Right, That's still a go. really good. Like that. Those are peak numbers for a lot of our streams. I'm gonna say we we talking about 150 compared to 200. 250 and shit. Like what the fuck is? It? Hey, man. yeah, I, I, like legit. Like, has there been a higher? No. Then 225 at one point? Like that's a no. career high for sure. Yeah. Okay. That's so. awesome. I mean I, I think what was it? Game <laughs> this is a Rudy. I think the second round, me and Omar did a stream and that peaked at like three hundred something, maybe. Three something. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was crazy. Yeah, but oh, in oh, terms oh, of a full oh, pod. I could I could have been put y'all on. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all want numbers? <laughs> Look, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> After the game, you want numbers? Do it after the game. I just don't be giving a fuck. I be tired, or I don't live alone. So that's the only reason I don't. You it's, want it's easier than like whole, recording a whole last NBA video. I ain't gonna lie. So hey, I'm, I'm saying you you want numbers and be so honestly. Hey, that 
I want a video. Do the shit right after the game. Post that shit immediately after the stream. Watch. <laughs> just, just watch that shit. Five times over. Five times over. Was good, Goku. It's good. It's good. Um. All right. So look, this, this is like a weird one, sort of. It's like I really don't know how to word it, but it was like, how far back would you like? Like, like, at what age did you really start, like, messing with yourself for real? Like, um, I guess I should say, because, like, when you're, like, <laughs> when you're, like, 16 or whatever, right? You're bored, like, bro. Like, you're bored, bro. No, no, is that what you want? No, I, I, I You're talking about you beating your meat, right? Like, let's just, let's just, yeah, okay, no, no, no. you're talking about beating your meat, right? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. It's oh, like, okay. Like, like, when you're growing as, like, that young adult type of thing, like, at what age would you say, like... Bro, I don't go lie. No, 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 no. I'm not disrespecting your overall question, but the fact that you oh, so he's not talking about beating my meat. No, no, he's he's talking about like feeling. Oh, okay. But he but he he purposefully (laughs) phrased it that way. The reason me, I'm I'm, the way I'm saying is, bro, the audacity to pull up and ask for man. When you start feeling yourself. (laughs) <laughs> what does he mean? What is he? That's the crazy. What does he He's mean? Like confidence, like when? Yeah, he's oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Omar. That's what I'm saying. He phrased it. He phrased, yeah, it's like he, he can lie all he wants. He phrased it so <laughs> elegantly and so perfectly to imply Come on, that mothers. mothers like, that's not. I'm not talking about that, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mothers. 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 Yeah, you only have one mother, nigga. Come on, bro. Right. I got you. <laughs> Unless your mom, unless your mom's just a little crazy up in that motherfucker. Like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so so my, my my answer to that is, I guess, like as a young person or whatever, eighth grade, ninth grade, I was like overweight, and ninth grade was the year that I decided decided to play football. So I dropped some weight, got a little more athletic, I got a little bit more uh, swag. You know, I, I was able to dress a little bit better. And um, that was the like, that was the moment when I became like a little bit more confident in myself, like a lot more confident in myself, um, basically going into like 10th grade year. So I don't know what age that is. That's I was 15, young. So. 16. And that's the age I would say as well. I feel like. That's when you start kind of caring about like how you present yourself to the yeah to the hotties. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's when oh, bitches souls is born. Be so, be so. <laughs> the bitches, stop it. You know what you, you know what you get. You know what you do. Um, I guess I'll be the one depressing of the group. I ain't found it. I ain't gonna lie. Thought I did junior year. Thought I did again sophomore year of college. I found it. Um, there's several times where I find several insecurities, and I, I feel like I have not truly found the self appreciation for myself yet. Honestly, uh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it all on it. Like, yeah. there's time. There's times where I want to post a picture, and I'm on that bitch shooting a fucking photo shoot as a grown ass man. And I'm like, yo, I do want to say I still have some big ass insecurities. Yeah, right like, now, but I get like that with my content. Good I lord. Um, with my- honestly how I dress <laughs> even at times. Yes, I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. For a whole ass yeah. four seconds. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Sage. I agree with everything. Nah, yes, you Sage, I agree. I've seen his face. I've seen his face. I just talked for a bit. I'm Mr. Sorry. Mr. 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 Oh. Nigga. <laughs> He, he was waiting for this day. He was waiting for this day. I swear to God. Yeah. Oh my God. Shout out to Wordy. Is still Shout out to Wordy for the new mic. Yeah. Uh, 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 Rudy, what were you guys at? There you yeah. go, Rudy. Rudy. Oh, shit. I'm, I mean, I guess my answer would be like maybe right before I turned 16, around that same time. Because my story is like I grew up in one town, you know, until I was like almost 16, moved. And like suddenly all like the stories I've been telling myself about like my place in the world that was my high school or whatever, you know, my social role, who, who I was, my identity constructed concerning with other people. It just left. And so I was like, oh, wow, who, who the fuck am I? And all of a sudden I was like, I like me. I don't have to hide parts of who I am to make people like me and shit. And so like, kind of had that epiphany at that time just because I got lucky and was just removed from, you know, my, my whole story at, up to that point. But, you know, I still feel insecure. Like, I just don't like identify with insecurity per se. Like, I'll still see a picture of myself here and there and be like, oh, I look a little fat, you know, like, oh, or like, you know, whatever. You know, oh, my yeah, hair, my this, 
bad. You exactly. You know, like I, like I still feel insecure sometimes, but I just don't like identify with it nearly as strongly as I did like virtually the entire time I was growing up. You know? Yeah. If I had to answer uh, a growth in terms of that, like in terms of where I feel like a lot less, I honestly would say junior year of college, I said, fuck living on campus. Uh, I got my own car rather than whipping in my car. Uh, and I, funny enough is when I, funny enough is after I broke up in this relationship, I was oh, so pressed to get a girl. Like my whole thing was that's a girlfriend. Like that was me nowadays. I'm like, it was <laughs> for, for, I don't care about really this. I don't care about that. I walk around, I walk around my hood, do whatever I want type shit. But or back then, I'm trying, I'm trying to give me a nice little jump that I can ride out with for a long time. I'm trying to settle down early type shit. Now nah, I'm like. Bro, what the fuck? Goku, I that's know. something I left out too. Yeah. Cause like I didn't even, I thought about so it. I was like, now nah, it's probably not critical. But like, I had a girlfriend after I moved. I got a girl and I stayed with her, you know, from like four months after I moved until like 2019. You know, I was with her for seven and a half years. So that's Shit. Goku, Goku, get your, um, once you get your E10 score up, I think that's when your confidence will rise. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Except for show, you don't know what it is. <laughs> You're Do you know? You don't know what E10 scores? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not B so I'm not gonna. Oh yeah. All right, get him out of here. 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 He's off. Get him out. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him out. Katie's best friend, Eli. Eli. Hey, Eli was up with me till like five thirty in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were you were wild no more. I I don't got to bring up the screenshots, bro. I don't got to. I don't got to do like that. Twin oh, yeah, it's screenshot. Twin, come on now, Twin. No way. What's your What's your question? Hey, y'all, y'all got my fellow Tennessean uh, Rudy in here. I, I feel I, I'm glad that there's multiple people from Tennessee here. But uh, the question, nigga, you about to ask us about LeBron scores? No, 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 no. It's not. No. <laughs> it is. A, it is a basketball question. God like, damn, bro. Go ahead. Go hurry ahead. up. This uh, is why KD dropped you. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. no. KD didn't drop me. KD wasn't even the host. Uh, you feel like like talent in the NBA is like as close as it's ever been like in the history of basketball? Because I know there's some people who think Luke like uh Nick from B ball breakdown thinks that like Luke is the best player in the world. And I was looking at my rankings, I'm like, this nigga, this nigga coach. might be ace. Coach. This nigga might be ace. It's, it's I ain't gotta t- call him coach. We got a friendship. You know what I'm saying? I can call mm. him Nick. Look at how this nigga name drop. He name dropped. Coach Nick from B Ball Breakdown in his question. Cause I was, you know, I was talking to you know Shaq. I don't know if y'all know who Shaq is. Like like he you like so Nick, bougie like, now, yeah. right? <laughs> he said I sent Coach Nick my jumper. That's what I'm saying. Like, come on. Like, right, like, like Nick and like I I'm Coach Nick certified. I yeah, remember the first room Eli and Coach Nick were together. That at least I was in. He was fanboy. He said, yeah, Coach I'm Nick. What you what you what you think about uh, this Jack play that the Bucks run? Like, oh don't, don't, don't let Eli don't, <laughs> don't let Eli, don't let Eli <laughs> gas himself up to y'all. You gotta man. grow up. Eli, you feel me? You Eli, gotta, you gotta grow up. Eli. Coach Eli. Nick, what do you think Eli, about you the can, Bucks defensive Eli, scheme? Eli can kiss the mask. You can talk to Coach. You can talk to Coach Nick all you want. Um Legend of Winning told me. Nigga. How about that? How about that? Yeah, nigga. Oh my god. Um, no, no, but for real, on a serious, t- I mean, Coach Nick is absolutely. I mean, you came up on the wrong podcast if you if you think you got Luca at eight. I don't, I don't know. Luca's the best player you've ever seen touch a basketball. Let me get that out there right now. Yo, listen to question. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, listen. No, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand that it wasn't the question, but I'm letting you know the answer. All right, that's the answer. Um, and then Julius Randle is like right here, right? No, no, no. You mean? No, no, no. I'm just saying the question was about the gap in talent, right? So Lucas right here, Julius Randall's like right here. I have a question, Chris Randall. I have a question. Where do we look at our trolls and be like, I, right, I'm wilding? Like, like, what is this about? What am I wilding about? Okay, so Julius Randall's right here. Like LeBron's right here. You know what I'm saying? Dame's right here, and then Luca. I know we're not talking about a wash thing. I know. Hey, yo, why are we wash talking wash about thing? Julius Randle when jo- when Jordan Poole is clearly? They call him a wash Jordan Poole. <laughs> I know we're not talking about a wash king. Yeah. I, I know Eli's down as Jordan Poole shit all day today. Don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not listening to him about Jordan Poole. No, I would I would agree with you that He's the. You're gonna see next year. God, I would agree with you that the talent is different, and maybe it's just me because I, I keep saying this. Listening to the Knuckleheads podcast, Loki Patrick Beverly confirmed everything I thought about Dane. 
his whole sentiment was like, yo, if you switch out Dame and, and Curry, like you're going to get similar results. Some of this stuff is just like so circumstantial. So, you know, you know, history could only happen this one way. If it happened another way and 10 other scenarios, it might have to get a different. There's a world where Marvin Bagley putting up the same numbers as like a eight. That. Yeah. Like, so after watching Loki, I believe it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, there, there, there's a world where the Boston Celtics are probably still winning titles. <laughs> like, stop. Man, there's a, stop. There's, there's, stop. There's, don't go there. But, but, I, but I think it's all about like, I think it's all about like talent. Now, I will say there are people who are just exponentially more talent than, talented than others. I can't deny that. But like, again, there's a world where Tyreek Evans, we're talking about Tyreek Evans, like a, a really, really great player all time building off that 25 and five campaign from season. If he just gets put in a situation that's like conducive to him. So not even just like those type of players. I mean, wait, get your, oh, your penis. Where are you at? My bad. My bad. You hear you hear yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you good. You good. Yeah. Uh, I was saying not even just like players like that are in like the middle class of the NBA more so like there was a portion of this year where people were like, James Harden's the best player in the NBA. And now, like, James Nine. Harden might be 10th. Oh, right. yeah. I, like, James Harden might be 10th. Like, it's realistically, everyone from like, everyone from like 1 to 10, legit at one point in the season was considered the best player in the league or has an argument for the best player in the league. And that's my whole thing with the all time thing, but I can claim it for that. Regardless, uh, um, in terms of the top 10 today, if you just want, just a straight dead on answer. Um, I say no. I think there were eras in basketball where even though people had certain answers, but well, I think it's Kobe, I think it's LeBron, then blank, then blank, then blank. Honestly, you really think about it. It's been like that for a while. Now, granted, there's been obvious number one several times, such as Michael Jordan, a prime LeBron James, but in terms of that 5 through 10, 10 through 15 type range, that's always been a clusterfuck of he could be better than him and he could be better than him. I think they're the only time, the only era where I looked at and I said, no cap, your one through four is boom, 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 was I think 2013 where LeBron had won a championship. You knew Tim Duncan was up there. You knew Dirk and then Wade was still good. And Kobe was just off a crazy ass season. Like Tim I think, Duncan was unanimously top four to you back then. Twenty thirteen. Come on, I just fucked up. Right, okay. Good I about to say you talking about old old Tim yeah, Duncan. Yeah, I'd say, I, I'd say up, Chris Paul. Yeah, I'm about to say take. I'm about to say take out Tim. I'm, I'm like either Kevin, way. Kevin Wayne. <laughs> either way. Um, I but certainly, certainly with the LeBron, the uh, Wade at the time, because Wade wasn't you know knee injury after knee injury after knee injury. Kobe Bryant off of a fantastic season, but. I think that's the only time where you looked at those and Kevin Durant, of course, and you're the only time where you're like, okay, these are the four slash five with Chris Paul. Everybody else, who cares? some motherfuckers that Paul George, <laughs> Dwight Howard, some, or about Dwight yeah, Howard some, being seventeen, yeah, so, yeah, someone <laughs> Paul George to Dwight to Harden now because that Harden, Russ, um, like, it, it's all over the fucking place, it's all over. The fucking place. Um, I'm just naming names to name names. Don't take me. So at chat at YouTube comment section, eat a dick. But you get what I'm saying. I, th- I think it was pretty. I think it's always been like this between five and fifteen. Now, if you're talking about just one through ten, period. Yeah, I have to say, because you could ask ten different people who the best player in the world, and I guarantee you. they so should I, all say Luca, though. But I think if you, but and, and, and we can close it here. But I think if you really look back, like your your top. Five really shouldn't change. Like people just do these things based off of, oh, so and so had a good two months, mm-hmm. and maybe like at the time Milwaukee will have maybe a couple more national TV games, you know, Portland or something like that, or Dame will have this stretch where he's like really going nuts. But that shouldn't change, like you know, in the grand people scheme. People are of way too fluid. I agree. People are way yeah, too. Fluid. It shouldn't change in the grand mm-hmm. scheme of things. Like way how you fluid. perceive what's the going only- on. The only fluidity that I have, and this will be the one spoiler to my list. Uh, honestly, the way the way that Bezos co- talks, he'd probably be on his too. The only thing that changes constantly to me is younger talents, younger talents, and significant Giannis level changes 
into a player. But a guy like Anthony Davis w- didn't get crazy from this year to this year. Like, he, Anthony Davis was, I would have him at like five. Spoiler alert, the ne- he's not going to be below 10 on my fucking list now because of one. It, it's not how it works. Like, that's the only thing where I think people go a bit too far. Like, a, even a guy like Jason Tatum, we all know, we all seen Tatum two, three years ago. He's developed surely, but Tatum isn't going to be some person where you're like, he low key top eight. Like, no, 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 he's not. But at the same time, you have a guy Speak like. <laughs> Jason Tatum or something like else. Harrison Booker. That's gay. That's you can't say that. He said Tatum. <laughs> you can't say tasting Tatum. That's you can't do that, bro. If I'm trying to write a paper. You are tripping. <laughs> oh, that's why you brought out the laptop. I'm like, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I didn't hear it. No, you can't say tasting Tatum. You can't say tasting Tatum, bro. Rudy, clip that. Bro. If you can't say tasting Tatum. You can't do that. You can't do timestamp this. <laughs> yeah, where do you timestamp this? You can't do. No, no, but, no. Tasting yeah, Tatum. Was was in the chat earlier, I forgot. But but yeah, uh, just so I don't hold it up. Um, nah, but if you can't, you can't, um, got like that for a <laughs> young, that, that really fucked me. You can't say taste the same. You can't. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. People <laughs> that are new to the recipe, yes, they can, they can be altered, but guys who've you've known for five, six seasons now, you don't just suddenly, oh, well, they're number one, now they're number one. You can't do that shit. But for anybody else's, for the tasting table, I'm a kid. I'm a child. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. He's, pack, pack Eli up. He's got, a, he's got a long shift tonight on, on Green Room. Yeah, oh, he has fuck. to shoot shots with uh, Coach Mike Miller. He's oh, big yeah, time. Mike Miller. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Eli, Eli, was in, Eli was in one room. Five uh-huh. James Wiseman. Same old, same old. <laughs> same old, same old. Yes, sir. What did you say? The audio right, motherfuckers bro. probably hate this part. <laughs> no cap. Oh my. I'm going to get one of those ones that crane out. Now, I don't know if it's that, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, listen, man, this has been a good episode. Uh, very informative Holy shit. for the lo- long episode for those informative good talks, good talks, good talks, good talks, good talks. Um, <laughs> and, uh, step on anyone's toes as the only uh, caucus present talking about fucking white supremacy and black issues and all that shit. I had to jazz it. I go count. I had to jazz it. Go ahead. I, you know, and that's why I got it back. But anyway, uh, B Souls, go ahead, say goodbye to the people. Let me let me check the viewership. Shout out to the 151 in here. Still. 150 throughout the whole thing. Yeah, no cap. I'm gonna say 150 throughout peaking at like 260 something. That's crazy. Crazy, man. Yeah, we got that. it says we we got 29 subs a stream, but it was it it was made way more than that because um no the, way yeah. the sub the uh, sub goal only counts unique goal. um gifted uh unique so like 29 new subs. I'm about to say no way because yeah. Corey gave Corey gave 20 alone. Yeah, 20 alone. My bad. Yeah. Then CMB was like five. five okay, yeah. hold on, hold on. Who the fuck is Corey? That alone yeah, is 25. Five. Yeah, and there was yeah. like, yeah. So shout out. You shout out to the young man. I appreciate you. Shout out God. to the young man. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my lights on and shit. Like shit. Like shit. That's pretty much it, man. So, sub, sub to us on all platforms. That's mm-hmm. Sage, say uh, goodbye to the people, bro. Peace out, niggas. Uh, hit that sub button on YouTube and Twitch, you know, which is fine. It should be okay. Um, and then sub to me, TSO underscore Sage, uh, on YouTube and and Twitch. I uh, had a two, three for the IG, remote back for the uh, Twitter and the Twitch TikTok that I lied. I didn't make that motherfucker, but I did, I did like craft it. I, I'm crafting it in the, in the work. It's in the works. I ain't gonna lie. It is in the works, but I did not make that motherfucker. I've been thinking about TikTok and shit too a lot lately. Yeah, it's, it's I, I might work. go crazy. I might go crazy too. Right? Yeah, it's in the works. I, I have I have like five TikToks ready to go if I were to do it. I should matter. Um, Rudy, shout yourself out, my friend. Yo, all right. So I'm seeing 145 people in here. If 140 of you don't fucking go to hustlepoints.news and bookmark that shit, I will personally find five of you and hunt you down. <laughs> my God. Yeah, yeah. Hustlepoints.news. Bookmark that shit. 
big things coming next season. All right. Wait, what? Still, what is what is, what is right. like? What is Hustle Points? Nothing. Shh, no, nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, just, but... I just bought the domain. That's where I am right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I got to build the website and hire people and do everything else. Five of you? That I don't care. That's I got a computer science major. I found five people on a one forty. That's crazy. Yeah, you say I'm a fine. I'm a fine job, guys. Um, <laughs> listen, man. You know who I am. I ain't you know really going that long stuff. But I know one thing's for sure and two things for certain. Y'all don't sub to this pod. We won't do it. How about that? Yeah. No cap. What, what if? What if? I don't feel like it. Yeah. And that's a fact. And <laughs> well, that's facts. What are you gonna do? You little shit. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and that's facts. I'm not gonna. Beat the shit out of you. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I just, I just won't turn around. I'll be solo potted. <laughs> solo potted. Be so just talking to itself. Um, hey, did, you, did you forget this is a 10 day contract? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say this. Hey, this is like the eighth day, right? <laughs> yeah, two, hey, me and my we, we in the quantum realm. Yeah, so two cool. more of these mofos. But, but with all that being said, for real, for real, y'all subs to the Man, great stuff coming. We got we got a lot of stuff that's gonna be advantageous for you to be a subscriber in the off season, especially. So you want to make sure that you have a, a, you're subscribed to the podcast. If not, I don't want you to miss out on all the good things that we have coming in the future. Um, you f- you see me on um, Twitter. It's it's getting real ignorant. I know I said I was on a tweet at five thousand. If anything, they got worse. Okay, um, Omizi on that one. You see me on Instagram, Kanye dot in training because I'm Kanye in training. And then subscribe to my YouTube. Got about four videos in the tuck. I want to say as soon as I get to ten, I'm 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 going deep. I'm going balls deep. Right. Anyway, with well, all I that being said, taste man, Tatum. this motherfucker right here, bro. Yeah, you can't say taste and Tatum. That's that. Come on, bro. You can title the pod taste, taste and Tatum. Tatum. That's, That's title of the pod. pod. Tasting. Hey, and you literally have the right tasting. Tatum, and then put a picture of Jason Tatum and B Souls. You don't want to be so thumbnails for a second channel, oh, or something like, like Jason Tatum, like <laughs> licking his lips. Like, <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. We'll talk to y'all. Till then, let's keep it a buck podcast. This motherfucker cut out so bad, but I'm in the stream. <laughs>